Hello, guys and gals. Oh, you know what? Let's do this properly, shall we? Yes. Hello, guys and gals, and welcome. Is I want to play some more Hogwarts. We got we're so close to ladder launch, and I'm not gonna be able to play this game again when ladder launches. Like I'm just not. It's it's not gonna happen. I, I probably won't even pick this game back up again until like long after ladder finishes. So, uh, you know, I just want to get some game time in on this game, this amazing game. Uh, you know, while I have a chance, while I actually can play, while I I want to do it. I don't care what you guys. Say. You guys can suck it. <laughs> oh, do let's get in here. Let's play some do jank. Let's play some doojank. Let me refresh my chat window. That's chat from last night. Refresh. There we go. You just need dual monitors and the map, the controller to play both games. <laughs> to play both games. I think I think they would know that I'm playing both games. I think they would be aware. This is my Hogwarts. My Hogwarts bandana. This is Gryffindor, by the way. Ra ra Gryffindor. Ra ra Gryffindor. Ra ra Gryffindor. Mm. Gryffindor wins. I'm in Hufflepuff, I know. But I don't have a Hufflepuff. I don't have a Hufflepuff bandana. I have a Gryffindor bandana. Mm. Alright, what quest am I on? That's, that's the first thing. Let's go check our quest log. Um, actually, I need to go to the Room of Requirements. Um... Just to do, 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 do. Looks like there's a quest for me to do over here anyway, so let's go do this quest. I need to go to the room requirement, identify some items. Okay, haunted lights. Lights all of a sudden got haunted and turned themselves up really bright. Nobody will know on a summon necro. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, you're technically right, yeah. I mean, if I was a summon necro, I could, I could just do whatever I wanted while my army's killing. would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Hey, they're both upgrades too. Secret solver's hat. Increase the damage with ancient magic throw. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here are my top hat. Still no new glasses to get rid of my stupid dragon glasses. Um, I mean, technically, these extraordinary ones are better than these legendaries, but they don't have a good doojanks on them, so. Um. Oh, yeah, these were better. What the hell? These were better, but they didn't have any effect on them. We need to go add an effect. Let's go add an effect onto those. 
out of those clothes with our loom. Uh, where's my pants? My pants de Leon. This one, right? What do you want? What do you want, Deke? Making up a pole. Pink. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> What the hell was that thought, Deke? Oh, oh, seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. Uh, as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the Enchanted Loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Mm, yes, please let Deke learn what you need to build for them. What the hell is this thing that just popped up here? Okay. I got a whole beach in my house now. A whole beach, guys. A whole beach. I'm not really sure why I have a whole beach. Can I fly in here? I cannot fly while I'm inside here. Hmm. Definitely some leeches in here. God, what is going on with you, Light? Just calm it down. Like, keep resetting yourself for some reason. Like, this is not appropriate behavior for a stream. Like, calm it down. See, now you're all messed up and just screwing me. Screwing me over. Look at all this green coming up on the screen because you don't want to behave. You're pissing me off. What's up, trustworthy? How's it going, man? Let's see if I can fix this in post. It's being weird. Of course, it keeps resetting, so why even bother? Okay, I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Since my light doesn't want to behave. Moon 
tombstone in here. Okay. There's a random cave. Let's go down here. Let's see what's in this random cave. Some bats. Some pork lump juice. Some peach juice. A random chest. I don't know if you can. So I've, I've jumped in the water before and it's been okay. There's definitely been times where I've jumped in the water. I went. Mean, there's like a whole. There was a whole like diving thing where you could get loot. Uh uh This is Hogwarts. This is Hogwarts. Stress worthy. This is Gryffindor. Ra ra Gryffindor. the cave and I'm assuming that's the cave so let's go well plenty of people couldn't swim back in the uh, olden days it's a pretty common thing it had to do with the fact that um, people really just didn't go to the water much even the people that were on the boats didn't go in the water much They were very stinky. Alright, I'm assuming that this cave that he wants me to find is not inside of this area. So, I thought it was inside of there. I would have thought that it was, but it doesn't seem like it is. Which means it's probably outside of the castle. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure Cody doesn't eat the chinchillas. It is a constant, never-ending task. Right now, he's so interested in what they're doing. He's he is watching them intently. <laughs> Very intently. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm he's, most pleased to be included. He's so upset that he can't see them. Not sure too. how I'd fare in a little place like he this. Wants, he wants to be able to see them. Incendio. That is not what I cast at all. You know what? Screw the screw the broom. Screw the broom. Let's let's do the hippogriff. Yes, a whole hippogriff. That's right, don't be jealous of me. I mean, you too could have a hippogriff if you were as great as I am, but... Cody, get down! I mean, Cody's about the size of a hippogriff. Just what about. Oh, the anticipation! Stop being mean. You cannot enter while mounted. It's not where I'm going anyway. Um, I really haven't even had a chance to look, Vito. I played until like 2 o'clock last night. I woke up. I literally, like, died. And then hopped back on the stream. Thus is the life of the streamer. Dismount. It's not letting me dismount. Dismount. I want to get off. Hmm. Oh, okay. 
Okay, there we go. Sleep of the dead. I mean, I really did. I got I got off at like two o'clock last night, and I think I got something to eat, and then I like passed out on the couch. I really didn't do much of anything. This must be Tobbs's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Oh, so there is fall damage, and you do die. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's something to learn. Snape is the villain, Samael. The villain. The villain of the story. <coughs> He's the villain. You can learn a lot. Someone messing about. Oh, I'm going to eat Let your fist. Protego. Ah! Levioso. Levioso. Mm -hmm. Let the Levioso. Levioso. Here's the view. Levioso. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. How about you quit being a punk? How about that? All right, since we're going into battle, let's um, throw some spells on here. And uh, we've got Liviosa, we've got our pull. I really wish we had more spell slots than four. I really wish we did. I'm gonna have to like make multiple spell slot sets, which does require me to spend some talent points on it. Do I have a talent point to spend? I have three talent points to spend. All right, let's go ahead and grab um, spell knowledge one and spell knowledge two. Um, that way we have got more slots. I guess. We unlock something at the end. Stupefy deals direct damage on impact. Prot Perfect Protego releases a damaging glass that breaks enemies' shields. Ooh, that looks nice. That sounds... That sounds good. That sounds very good. Alright, so now we have more spell slots. Alright. So let's set up a couple different spell sets, I guess. Uh, first off, let's just set up a utility set so that we can use this whenever we need to. Um, that'll just be the utility set, right? And then um, let's set up a Descendo set. I really like Descendo. Descendo works really well. Um, combine that with... Actually, let's, let's put that one over there. This one over here. Let's uh, combine that one with the ice one. I like the ice one. And then um, let's get the slash in there. The slash is pretty cool. And let's put the push and the pull together. That sounds kind of fun. I don't know how I switch between them. Okay, all right. Well, that's pretty easy. It's just shift, shift, scroll. Make it a little bit easier for me to switch between our uh, sets. Let's see here. Let me take a look at this guy's. Do, do thumbnails real quick, shall I?
I mean, they're interesting screenshots. They're not really my style, though, Vito. There's one thing that um, I've learned about thumbnails, and it is... They, people look for the style of the thumbnail that you make. I mean, if you can make one in my style, which I know my style is a little, little basic, but uh, if you can flare it up. You just kind of have to keep this the same style cave. going. I suppose I should head inside. I'll talk to you when I have a chance. Um, so this is a really busy time for me right now. Spinner's Canyon. Beware spiders. Oh, okay. I think there may be spiders in here, guys. I don't even know why I'm going in here. I don't, I don't even think I have a quest to go in there. Incendio! Hobbs, you missed your quota by three files. You know what that means. It means my loyal customers will be missing their bottles of Seamus's shrinking solution. Because of your foolish mistake, you will be given no food for a week. I also expect you to punish yourself accordingly. When I return for the next shipment, I'd best see bloodied bandages instead of your usual idiotic grin. If you do not meet your next quota, plus five extra files, you will lose more than your food privileges. Tobbs's master is awful. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Incendio! Lavender patch scar. I got a top hat, boys. <clears throat> I know y'all's jealous of my top hat. Don't even lie. Evil spiders. Incendium. What graphics card do I play on? I'm currently using a 3090 uh, RTX Grant Merle. Yes, I smote that spider out of existence. Whoa, what's up, Shelob? Did y'all just see Shelob go by that window? Holy crap. Holy Jesus. Freaking Shelob. Perhaps was here some time ago. Where'd you go, Shelob? Must have headed deeper into the cave. Incendium! Levioso! Descendo! Confringo! In Shelob up in here. Incendio. I got plenty of fire to burn you, don't worry about it. We're gonna burn uh, we're gonna burn the Shelob out of you. Actually upgraded recently from a GTX 1080. That was my uh, previous card. Incendio. A Wiganveld potion. Oh no, they're giving me Wiganveld potions. That means I'm gonna be freaking getting my butt kicked here soon. May have hurt myself with the fire. F 
forest rivet gloves. Revelio. Revelio. Oh, look, spiders all over the place. That's what it revelioed. It revelioed that there's spiders everywhere. You know. Please don't revelio the spiders. Uh, Cody, lay down. Pacing around like a trapped tiger. Lay down somewhere. Master, if you're looking for Tobbs, it seems he has dried up all the leeches here and must move deeper into the cave. Tobbs hopes Master will wait for him to return. It's much too dangerous for Master to follow, and please be careful of the spiders, Tobbs. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. Well, that was cool. Why did I just... Why? Why would you do that? Why would you just keep using spells until you fall off the cliff? Why would you do that? Mm. What's up, Blast03? Incendio! How far did it put me back? Ooh, it like, put me back too far. Oh my god, spiders are. And they are really just laying it thick with the spiders, aren't they? They're like, there's spiders in here. And I'm like, yeah, no, I know. They're like, no, no, there's spiders in here. And there's one on your shoulder right now. Hello there, Shelob. Eating any fat hobbits lately? Eating any fat hobbits lately? Rebellion. All right. 
me pick up all my spider fangs. I killed a lot of spiders. I squished them really dead. I killed a lot of spiders. I hit them in the head. I burned them with fire. And I didn't hold back. Uh, lots of evil spiders. I don't know, do you remember, I don't know if you guys remember the Merlin movie from a long time ago, but in the Merlin movie, he said there were three levels of wizards. He said some wizards had to uh, perform hand symbols. You know, they had to actually perform the symbol, you know, and say the words. Um, he said some, he said more powerful wizards would be able to cast a spell just simply by, um, you know, like waving their hand basically and then saying the words so they wouldn't actually have to perform the hand symbols and then um, he said the most powerful wizard um, is the wizard that can cast the spells with his mind so he doesn't need to be able to he doesn't he doesn't need to have to to say the the, the words for the actual spell and he doesn't need to do the hand symbols to support the spell he only needs to think the spell and it will happen um, so the way I see it is the, the wizards in the Harry Potter world are still stuck with the basic level of, of uh, casting, which is which is you have to do the movement and you have to say the word for the spell to come out. Incendio. Merlin, who is in this game, by the way, probably, if, if he's as powerful as Merlin was, probably could cast a spell without even having to say the word. Um... And some, sometimes he would just simply just wave his hand. That was it. He would just go like this. And then the spell would happen. So I, I'm assuming that more powerful wizards, more, um, you know, more adept wizards over time probably can cast the spells and, and stuff without having to be overly silly and be like, Levels all. There's probably wizards out there that don't have to go through the motions because they're that powerful. Exactly. So, the more powerful wizards and witches, the ones that have actually practiced properly, can, can cast them without... Uh, without saying the words. It's um it's it's a sign of a more powerful wizard basically. Oh, I thought that was something there, but it was just like a it's a Revelio. Read the note. Uh. Note, I didn't see a note. Did I miss a note? Leech juice. Oh, I did miss a note. Master, if you find Tob's body, the big spider was too much. Tob has failed at you and deserves this punishment. Tob feels weak, sleepy. Tob oh, must. Left here alone with the spiders. Oh, I didn't even see him. He's literally standing right there. He's so small. So the spiders got Tob's. Well, that's fucked up. Who are these people that were controlling tops? Because they're about to get beat down. About to beat down some poachers. They're about to get beat down.
My gear slots are full. Well, I'm... Oops. I need to go sell some stuff in town. I hate to um, not get money for this stuff. Especially when money seems to be important for specific things. Well, oh, it wouldn't even better what I have. That on. table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. Good. Let's get out of this accursed place. Poor Tobbs. Poor Tobbs. Well, the chinchillas was laying down. It's not common to see them laying down. I was worried about them. It's very, it's very uncommon to actually see a chinchilla lay down. It's like seeing a horse lay down. When you see a horse lay down, you know something's wrong. He might be hot. You know what? I'm gonna give them some ice cubes. It is a little unseasonably warm today, and it's a little warm in here. Give them some ice cubes to lick on. I feel a little bit better. Giving them some, uh, giving them some ice cubes helps them cool off. They're they're very uh, well insulated, so they tend to be very, very get very hot very easily. I mean, they're like they got the most fluffiest coats on. Some Inferi. Incendio. What's up, Inferi? Randomly walked into a, a group of inferior. I did. Why are there so many inferior over here? The dead. The dead rise. Um, I have no clue where I'm going, but it doesn't look safe. Ugh. Double ugh. I'm so used to tab being the, um button the the button and it's not the button all right i need to get back to town and sell some of this crap the hell's going on here poachers Let me also. Descend. 
No. Oh, you thought you heard something. Frickin' poachers. Or ball of jam. What's up, poachers? Hey, y'all are just spamming Levioso, aren't you? I'm gonna descendo you directly into the dirt. How about that? Descendo Dirtus Maximus. Descendus Maximus. Us, us, us. What's up, Joy? I mean, I'm still sick, yeah, but I'm just, I'm fighting through it. I'm tired of being sick, so. What's up, Centaur? How's it going, buddies? Can't breathe. Can I breathe? La 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 can I breathe? Ah, can I breathe? La la la. Violet lock scarf. What are the centaurs doing? Can I talk to the centaurs? What's up, buddy? Them poachers are fucking assholes, ain't they? Yeah, yeah. We I, we took them poachers out. I'm glad we fought together. Was yeah. Take we're gonna go back to your centaur house and we're gonna do centaur stuff. I like centaur stuff. I'll do centaur stuff with the centaur house. There's a wolfie here though. Watch out. He's a little scurry. Don't get beat up by the wolfie. I'm not a wolfie that don't know. He's gonna be mean to me. Go check the poachers' village over here and see if they've got any animals that we can set free. Sometimes there's like a an animal that you can set free. What's up, centiers? No, nah, it doesn't seem like it. I guess we just kill all the poachers and, and laugh at them. For being idiots. I'm gonna go to Hogsmeade real quick and sell a lot of this junk that I've got. You know, it feels like I'm wearing a hat hat. It feels like I'm wearing like an actual hat and I like went to grab the brim of the hat, but it didn't work. <laughs> Hogsmeade, here I come. Alright, there's a shop right here. It doesn't really matter where you sell your stuff. Just sell it. You're back. Nice to see you again. Alright. I'll just sell everything. It really doesn't matter. I just want to get some money for this stuff. Uh, Alright, that was actually slightly better than mine. I need to check that out. Gloves I have are pretty good though, and that's the reason Thanks why I have Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Hmm, decreases the damage taken from goblins. 
73 defense, legendary winter cloak. <laughs> oh, that is nice looking. That's like a bomber jacket. Oh man, I like I like that. I like that a lot actually. That's that is nice. That is very nice. I do I do enjoy a good good jacket. Um, these gloves are actually slightly better than mine, but they don't have the Expelliarmus on them. I think that's why I wasn't wearing them. Yeah, I think that's why I wasn't wearing them. Alright, let's sell everything what are we else. For today? Thanks for stopping by. My Hope to see you again. Jackie. Uh, uh, uh. I know you guys are jealous. Uh, 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 of my really awesome jacket. I know you're jealous. My jacket. My really awesome jacket. That's okay. You can be jealous of my jacket. Hey. But you can't have it, though. Right? You can't have it. House elves are winning, huh? <clears throat> House elves, goblins, muggles, and magical beasts. Muggles and magical beasts are tied. You guys really rate magical beasts and muggles together? <clears throat> that seems a little rude. I can't remember where the room of requirement is. How nice to see you, my young friend. I always forget. The room of requirement is kind of hidden. I should probably remember since it's literally where my house is, but Take a look at the map really good. Maybe if I go down here. It doesn't really show me a whole lot, does it, as far as like the inner workings of the building. Protego. Maybe I can go to the quest log and um I can just simply click on it. Um, okay, so let's switch go this way. And then this way, and then this way, and then up here. Circle. Hey, there it is. What's up, Pablo? One of my members showing up to show off his memberships. Look at all them emotes he's got. He's got all sorts of emotes and fancy things like he's got Mr. Chonkers and Mr. Crying Frog and Mr. Laughing Ginger and he got the Jaw Rune and the Zod Rune and the Annie and the Gold Piles that's right you get special stuff when you become a member of my chip <coughs> It is a fancy hat. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh, my. Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deacon Tobbs once shared the same master. When he died, uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Well, Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think, if that's all right. Uh, the way that they treat the house elves in in this in this series is like the worst. 
They're literally nothing more than slaves. And the house elves are happy to be slaves. This is, this is the part that really bugs me, is that they literally are happy to be slaves. And, and if you... Um, I don't even know how to put it other than that. Like, if you tell them to go kill themselves, they will totally go kill themselves. Like, they will just do it with, with like, a happy grin on their face. They, they've got some sort of, like, predisposition for serving. And if you own a house elf, you literally own a servant for life. Like, and the only way to get rid of them, apparently, according to the, the book, is to present them with a piece of clothing which frees them. But even when they're free, they still end up trying to serve a master. Like, they still end up trying to be, you know, in in someone's debt. Um, for instance, with Do with uh, Dobby, Dobby ended up being, you know, like, in Harry Potter's debt. So it was, um, it ended up, he ended up kind of serving Harry Potter, even though Harry Potter was not his master. And, uh... I don't know, some, some of the way that people treat them, some of the way that people treat them is just absolutely awful. Like, it's awful. Um, they're just, they, they literally, you have this, this uh, elf that will literally do anything you tell him to do, and um, with without question, and they're just so mean to them, and it's, I don't even understand. If I had a house elf, like, if I had one in real life, I would probably be very kind to the house elf. I mean, yes, he's my house elf, but I would, I would just, you know, I, I would probably be the kindest master ever. I'd be like, hey, you know, uh, Deke, you want to go hang out at the mall today? And he'd be like, sure. Hey, Deke, you want to go eat chocolate until we die? I'd be like, yeah. Deke, can you go grab the dog and, and give, take him for a walk and, and uh, you know, it's like, because he's being mean. Can you go pet the chinchillas? They need to be petted. Why, absolutely I'll pet the chinchillas. Oh, I can teleport directly to the room of requirement. Interesting. And the map chamber. Okay, I'll have to remember that. Alright, let's get some of these quests out of the way, shall we? Um... The man behind the moons. We've collected quite a few moons, but we don't have nine of them. That one's going to be something that we have to do over time. I mean, we could run around Hogwarts at night and see what we could find. Hey, getting those Aloha Mora uh, spells is actually pretty important, and I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of stuff by not having them. So maybe we should just spend some time trying to find the moons. Um, in which case, we need to change it from day to night, because you can only collect them during the night time. Um, so let's get out of here. We need to we need to leave the room of requirements. All right. So let's go to the map. Do the map. Do the map. Do the map. 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 Do the map. 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 All right. I don't know. Is it daytime or is it nighttime? I can't even tell. There's no windows anywhere, so it's not like it's easy to see. Okay, I think it's daytime. All right, so let's do another wait then. All 
All right, so we need to find these moon moon thingies. Rebellion. I mean, one thing we could do is we could just spam this all over the place until we find them. Um, we can also check level Hello, one more. lock doors. We can't check level two locked doors yet, unfortunately. Hello, kitty. I broke in here so I could pet you. That was why I broke in, just so I could give you a pet. Hm, little scratches on the butt. Yes, you did like that, didn't you? Little butt scratches. Butt scratcher! Dear Professor Shaw, thank you for your recent submission regarding celestial anomalies. It may be a perfect addition to an atlas I'm hoping to publish. I shall be in touch if I decide to include your submission or any of its related research in the publication. Best wishes, MPN Carnarius. Alohomora. Oh, another locked chest. So nothing in here, just a kitty cat. Just a kitty cat. I mean, we'll keep searching. Um, I'm not exactly sure where these moon, little moon demi guises are, but we've already found quite a few of them, so we just need to keep looking, I suppose. Um, the more I look around, the more I find, I guess. I'm gonna check in his office. Possible classroom games. Levitation lesson. Encourage students to levitate blocks through raised hoops or similar. Disarm and dodge. Hone expelliarmus and reflexes. Targets on, on a tangent. Back to basics with casting practice on target enchanted move quickly. Hunter green corduroy. Revelio. Level 2 lock spell. So, unfortunate. Can't get through there. Again, it feels like there's a lot of stuff that requires level 2 that I can't do. I need this Aloha Mora spell. That's why we're trying to get these freaking orb things. Professor, do you have time to chat? I always have time for my students. How may I help you? I wondered if I might ask how long you've been teaching at Hogwarts. Well, it's been what now? <laughs> Seven swift years. Time does fly because we have fun. Essential in my opinion. An eager, positive and confident mind is the most open to knowledge, I find. Some of the professors may not agree with your approach. <laughs> well, each of us has our own style, I suppose. Some in the teaching field believe that hard work and dedication are the only keys to success. But they forget what drives those things. If one cannot fathom why some would expend energy on gobstones, then one is blind to the enormous power of play. And that's why you teach the way you do? Precisely. I strive to be the sort of professor that I would have enjoyed in school. My experience was less cheerful. Perhaps you wouldn't be who you are without that experience. Had I received a more traditional education, well, 
Enough about my student days. You are here now, and it would be a shame if you didn't enjoy it. I'll do my best, Professor. Thank you for the advice. You are most welcome. <laughs> uh, try to have a bit of fun today. Huh? Yes, I will. As you say, Professor. As you say... All right, let's search some more. Searchy, 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 search. Let's search up here. What's up here? Rebellion. Basically, I'm just going to be looking specifically for the moon do janks anyway so I mean, if we see other things along the way we'll... you can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before i invented blue powder is that locked aloha mora ah you pathetic fool you did not know that i know the aloha mora spell um, the aloha mora spell um Junk in there. All that junk in Rebellion. that trunk. All that junk in that trunk. All that the junk and the junk. Got that junk in the trunk. Uh huh. Or peculiar brown. Oh, I think there's one in here. I think that's it. There is one in here. Right now, dummy guys. I'd seen the car's tower countless times. Never suspected it held the secrets it did. All right, we got another dummy guy's moon. Why is it not showing any progress on my dummy guy's moons? I'm pretty sure I've collected like four or five of them so far. I feel cheated that it's not counting up. Yeah, I've got I've got four of them so far. So I only need uh what five more? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, five, five, five more moons. So I can get the Aloha Mora spell level two. Oh, you think I have to give them to him before they count? I mean, I mean that makes sense. In that case, I'll just hold on to them until I have nine. Currently at four. Just now that I know that I'm at four, I'm at four. Handy resource indeed. Your field guide. All right, let's keep going. Um, I, f I have a feeling a lot of them are probably in like um, Rebellion. the offices of specific. People. I feel like offices are definitely a place. Oh, well, hello, gray kitty. You are definitely a gray kitty, that's for sure. Good lord, all the gray. What color kitty you got, gray? Like, what color gray? Like, literally the ashes that come out of the fire after you're done burning something. Like, that's the color gray. Revelio. The ashiest gray that ever ashed. Mm. Mm. So let's go down here. I don't think we've searched in what are you um, up to now? the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. Professor, do you have a moment? Yeah. I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well... They seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigella's flag for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. What? Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. 
You may you all may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Uh, as you might suspect, I, cannot I cannot speak. speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking so with she's me, Professor. Not... Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. So she's not actually old. That's what she basically just told us. Apparently she was, uh, she was working with the Ministry or something along those lines. Rebellion. And, um, and she got wounded by time, which I would assume just simply means that, the, that she was made older than she actually is. So she's, she is specifically, um, the same age as Black, the, the headmaster. But because of the time wound, she appears to be older than she actually is. That's, that's actually quite interesting. Why is there evil gases coming out of the ground over there? Rebellion. And there's a doojank on the wall. Pungent passes, Passage. This passage is rel relatively nondescript as far as passages go. However, the mishandling of a crop of Mimbulus Mimblentonia on the, in the 16th century and the accompanying tsunami of stink sap left it with a rancid odor that even the strongest scouring charm cannot seem to eradicate. Lumos. Apparently he's near the the centaur doojank. There's the centaur right there, which means that our friend is right nearby. If I could undo all that happened that day, I would. Hurry up, hurry. I swear Oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta collect the dude that thing. Alright. Field guide, field guide, field guide. Rebellion. I think I've been here before. Maybe one of those moon orbs is hiding around here somewhere. There's a page down there. Wingardium Leviosa. Okay, that takes me outside. Oh, what do you do, Jenks, huh? That's right, you failed. Rebellion. Level two lock. Another level two lock. That was a house elf that just disappeared in front of me. Alright, let's try teleporting to a random part of the castle, somewhere we haven't been. Let's let's try over here where the Great Hall is. I don't think I really searched around this area for the moon, the moon critters. The demigeises. It's just search in random places. Revelio. Somehow I ended up in the house. This was not where I wanted to be at all. Let's just leave here. If 
one tickles the pear in this life still life painting a bowl of fruit of a bowl of fruit it will giggle before turning into a doorknob to allow entry to the hogwarts kitchens oh that might be somewhere where there could be a demi guys hiding revelio yum here's a welcome treat delicious Oh, he's over here just stomping that jangle. What's up, buddy? You just you having fun with that? And... Hello, Hamora. Got chickens all over the place. What are you guys making in here? Everything looks good. Well, you guys are grilling it up. All right. Revelio. Good lord, that's a big old pot. House Elf Living Quarters, ever practical and creative, the Hogwarts House Elves have created a cozy village like home for themselves among these barrels in the Hogwarts kitchens, of course. One cannot presume to know what they're really like inside, as House Elves have an extraordinary magic of their own. Huh. So bigger on the inside, huh? Bigger on the inside. Revelio. Doesn't look like there's any moon moon do janks in here, but get ourselves a little butter beer and some snackies. Some snackies. Look at all these snackies. There are right. yes. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. They're making me hungry. Over here about to crack open some chips myself. They're making me they're making me want to chow down. My young friend. Revelio. Cody, stop barking. <laughs> Cody! I'm gonna pull on your Where tail. Rebellion and student collide. A path must be chosen. <laughs> you can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. I end up right back here. Let's 
trying to go down. Revelio. Trying to explore. <laughs> Stop. You don't even know what you're barking at. You don't can't even see anything. You're just barking. Cody's always getting yelled at because Cody's always bad. <clears throat> He's always bad. I never had a dog like him. Just mm -hmm. always, just always bad. Like, always doing something wrong. He literally, he literally will sneak in there and steal stuff out of the trash. He waits until you're not looking, and he deliberately finds time to be bad. Like, it, let's say you go and you go to the bathroom. He will come in there and he will check to make sure you're on the toilet and then he will go and do something bad because he knows that you're incapacitated at that particular moment and you can't stop him. Like he is the he is the worst dog. Like the absolute worst. He he knows what he's doing is wrong. He's very aware that what he's doing is wrong, and he'll still do it wrong. He'll still do it anyway. He doesn't care. There's been so many times where we'll, we'll, we'll literally be sitting in there eating. Like, you know, just maybe we got some pizza or something. And he will go to grab something off the table. With his tail tucked between his legs and hunkered down. You know, in the position that you literally... That the dogs like to go into when they know they're doing something wrong or they, they've been caught doing something wrong. But we haven't said anything or done anything. He literally will preemptively go into this position because he knows what he's doing is wrong. And then he will still take something off the table. And then he will walk away, literally in the position of, I know I'm doing something wrong, but I'm doing it anyway. And then if you yell at him and say, put it down, he will literally just keep walking to his cage with full knowledge that he has been caught. And will just continue to keep walking toward his cage because because he feels like if he can make it to his cage, his his kennel, if he can make it to his kennel, then then it's his. He's home free. He doesn't even wait until we leave the room anymore. Half the time he just he'll just take our food straight off of our plate. Uh. Revelio. Yeah, Cody used to come with us with us to the toilet, and he used to sit there with us when we go to the bathroom. But now he's figured out that when we're on the toilet, we can't stop him from being bad. So now he knows that when we're on the toilet and we're going to the bathroom, he can just basically have free reign of the house and run around and do whatever he wants. <gasps> it's you! Thank you again for finding my gobstones. I never could have done it myself. Revelio.
You can't fly while you're inside the castle. As soon as you leave the castle, you can fly. You can even fly into the castle. I can land on the castle. Once you're in here, though, you can't just fly around while you're inside the castle. That's off limits. Rebellion. Oh, this is the library. Hey, one of those keys. In the library. The Dedalian keys. The Dedalian. Indeed, your field guide. Rebellion. Trying to see what secrets lie in the library. Looks like there's a moth painting down there. I don't know how to get to it, but. Descender! Akio! Yeah, found a page in here. Revelio! My little sister's will be. Lumos. Rebellion. to let you know, but I'm not sure it's as exciting as you might think. Oh, any sort of sneaking is most definitely exciting. I shan't be left out again.
Why do students always run when Peavesy wants to have some fun? Finite. A painting that just petrifies you when you look at it. That's kind of crazy. Rebellion. Just a random petrification painting. Can't beat. Revelio. Peeves. Go away. Go away, Peeves. Take shortcuts? No, not really. Just been having fun playing the game. Doing everything that I can. Trying hard to be a man. Doing everything I can. Holding on to what I am. Pretending I'm a superman. Just trying to keep Hogwarts in my sleep. Gotta take all the spells around me. What could I do more? Maybe curse the door. And now I'm running circles and I can't quit. And it's so confused. Cause I've got a broom and I'm gonna take it and I'll fly away did, 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 did. <clears throat> cause here I am just a flying on my broom uh, and I'm gonna take you down to the Disney room I don't know what I'm doing uh, but I'm trying real hard to make my way through the Harry Potter world and I'm gone to take my broom and I'm gonna go down to Hogsmeade cause it's so really cool to fly my broom all the way Sometimes to the city to <laughs> Everywhere I look, corruption's all I see. Beasts, goblins, and you show me anyone from the Ministry I can trust. You just remember who warned you. Who else is going to stand up for us, eh? Who else is there? Behave, damn you. What's wrong with this blasted thing? Nothing warms a body like incense. That's what my mother used to say. 
completed that errand for me? Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. Of course. Glad to hand it over, frankly. I shall make an ocean of galleons, and Lawley's business will be sunk. <laughs> Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Oh, to see the look on Lawley's face the next time he wanders down to his cellar. Honey Dukes. Come now. First the teaching students jinxes. Next thing you know it is on the give a cluster. Out of my way, you bumbling <laughs> bollocks. One never knows when to Alright, let's look at the next quest we need to go to. Let's get all these quests out of the way. A lost child. Natty has learned of a wizard in Lower Hogsfield has been harassed by Theophilus Harlow, Irkwood's right-hand man. I should meet her there and investigate. It's pretty close to this one. On another adventure, are we? I've got to keep my throat constantly hydrated. This could prove dangerous. This place has seen better days. Come out! Come here, crap mate! Who is that? Revelio. Few witches or wizards correctly trace the history of Scotland's indigenous mazes back to their rightful source, the 15th century dark wizard known as Unon Blackwood. Born Unon Wood to a non-magical branch of the Wood family, Unon was misunderstood by his muggle parents, and in an effort to fit in, sought solace in the family trade, hedge trimming. He could allegedly control blackthorn bushes with his mind, creating beautiful designs with ease. This both impressed and infuriated his rather intolerant family. Their resentment only worsened upon young Unon's inv invitation to Hogwarts, where he was sorted into the Hufflepuff house. It was at Hogwarts that Unon first met one Artemis Black, disowned by the Black family for her mother's dalliance with Artemisia's muggle father. The half-blood Artemisia's relationship with blood purity was a complex one, she considered herself a worthy of her mother's maiden name and blamed her father for her ostracation. At the same time, she did not fault Wood for his muggle parentage, but rather considered him too an, an unwilling, innocent viggle of muggle impurity. Um... So if I enter through the... Okay, that's actually really cool, and it's a maze. Ah, okay, well I guess I gotta find my way out of the maze, shall I? Oh, dead end. Oh, dead end. Wait, no, that's not a dead end. This is actually really cool. Little hedge maze in the middle of nowhere that just pops up out of, out of nothing. 
walk through the doojank and complete the maze. Well, I wonder what's at the end of the maze. Ooh. A chest. Unidentified hand item. Well, that's rather interesting. Can I catch these sheeps? No beast targeted. They are not catchable sheeps. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Hey, sorry about your barrels, ma'am. You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. Mm, Mr. Bickle? Where could Archie have gone? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow! I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering. As he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father... Uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. We'll find your son, we'll ma'am. We'll your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. What am I going to do? We'll find your son. <laughs> we'll find worry, your Mrs. son. Bickle. We will bring Archie home. Yes, we shall bring Archie. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about... Blah, 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 They talk a lot. Trying to see if there's anything better. Unfortunately, I still haven't found anything better than the dragon glasses. I'm wearing them because they have the best stats, okay? Get off my back! They have good stats! I don't care if they look silly! You guys are terrible! All you can tell me is you don't like my glasses! I don't come to your house to tell you I don't like your glasses! I hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. Just walk into somebody's house and you just be like, be like, man, your couch, it's really ugly. You need to get rid of it, like, right now. Like, I will help you carry that couch to the curb, my friend. I will literally just help you carry this couch to the curb. It is hideous. It is absolutely atrocious. In fact, I will pay you $5 to let me carry this couch to the curb. It's not going to go over well, okay? It's ne It never goes over well to walk into somebody's house and just start telling them that something that they have on is atrocious and or that they something that they have is ugly and they need to get rid of it. All right? It doesn't go over well. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Hallow that we need. We will need something more. Let's take the joke even one step further. You walk into somebody's house, and their wife is really ugly, and you're just like, man, your wife is really ugly. Like, I think you just need to divorce her and just, just move on. Like, you're like, but yeah, but she cooks really good food, and she's got, like, you know, and she, she, she has sex with me, like, every day. And also, she's given me three children, and they're like, but no, she's really ugly, and you just need to just, just, just cut, the, cut the noose, just get rid of her. Like, I, if you want to just kill her and, and just bury her in the backyard, I'll start digging the hole. Like, I'll just, I'll start digging the hole and let's just get rid of her tonight. You know, like, it's, it's alright. 
This must I got be your Mrs. back, Achi's man. Hideout. I got your back. That's Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Achi? Achi Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. Herbidian Black Scale. The Herbidian Black Scale is a large dragon that can grow to over 9 meters in length. A large rough scale, originally belonging to one of these beasts, is one of the prized possessions that Archie Bickle keeps in his hideout. Protego. It's pretty cool, Archie. You got a freaking dragon scale. Beasts welcome. The beasts are welcome. Come on down, beasts. You are welcome. Revelio. There! Archie's footprints. He went this way. You are most assuredly welcome. Come on down, Mr. Beast. I thought we would have found Come on Archie down, yes, sweet. I suspect Come on keep down, if he's being Mr. Beast. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Let's get it. Oh yeah, I forgot I can't I can't leave her. If I leave her immediately fails the quest. Gives me like fifteen seconds. Rebellion. That's all I've got. Fifteen seconds. I hope Archie didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. Revelio, we should look around. We should look around. Archie Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hallow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Yeah, I used it like six times. Archie went this way. Stupid quest flags. It's not going to show me anything. I have a bad feeling about this. Hallow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill Leeches. his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. Rebellion. Hmm. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. A Thestral? Revelio. Oh man, I want a Thestral. Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. Levius! I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father mm. when he died. My mother oh, come on. Was quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways. But in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... We must find Achi. Oh my god, I can't do nothing with you nearby, little turd. Levioso. Hey, I got one. 
I got a Thestral. Nice. Thanks for being useless, Natty. Could have helped me with the Thestral. Revelio. Taking his fuel switch. Confringo. Descender. That's the best you can do, is it? If you could elude me. I turned him into a chicken. I turned him into a chicken. Into a chicken. That was pretty cool. I didn't think you could turn people into animals. Oh, okay. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Bigger on the you inside. You don't think he saw it happen, do you? Of course he did. Why else would he have run? He's just a child. We should release him. This is the sort of thing that could draw unwanted attention. Harlow will decide what to do with him once he gets back. Oh. Levioso, <laughs> oh, no. oh. Oh. No. Ringo. Ah. Somebody out there. Incendio. Confringo. Levioso. Yeah, you're dead. Super dead. Hmm. <sighs> Take down money. Oh, look at all you guys. Carton Haggerty. An actual named person, level 27. Identified item. Please, 
you help. I see you need Rebellion. money. Give me a second, I'm still collecting loot. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. Mm. We need to get this open. Aloha, Mora. Sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. I mean, it could be a magically enchanted cage, Joy. This is Harry Potter world. Maybe he can't get out, no matter what size the gaps in the cage are, as long as it's a cage. Oh, Archie! You're here! Oh, oh, you're safe! Mother! Oh, Mother! Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. We don't want to worry you. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickel. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. I like it. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. Let me go sell the rest of this junk Aren't that I picked up. Got some gloves that are unidentified. Um, let's check and make sure nothing's better than what I got. God knows if I get a better pair of glasses, I gotta equip them immediately. Otherwise... <laughs> Otherwise, riots in the streets. Riots in the streets. I can't tell you what a relief that was. Oh, oh, you had a better pair of glasses and you didn't put them on? Oh, oh, that's it. Unsubbing. Oh, I'm not going to be your member anymore. Oh, you owe me $5. What are you up to now? You're looking pretty nice in that little green doojank got on there, sir. I like that a lot. What happens after you join the GGM Discord? Well, you get access to the GGM Discord. There's lots of cool stuff to do in there, people to talk to. And uh, on top of that, you get to hang out with me in voice chat from time to time, which is something that uh, is not happening right now because I'm playing a single player game. But usually when I'm playing Diablo, I'll hang out in voice chat all day. In fact, you can pretty much expect like voice chat to be blowing up like all latter season three. Ladder Season 3 is going to be some fun stuff. We are going to be blowing up some Ladder Season 3. Literally, as I make a million meteors come out of a monster's butthole. 12 out of 16 to Dalian Keys, so I only need 4 more. That could be fun to get that finished. Ghost of Our Love... Professor's assignment, grow and harvest fluxweed. Acquire all three combat plants and use them simultaneously. Let's do the next trial. I feel like we've gotten a lot done. 
Let's just go ahead and do the next trial, shall we? Yeah, well, I tried to attract some amazing people. How does a top hat like this stay on while flying? Obviously, it's pinned on, Joy. I pin that thing on. It's got little pins straight into my skull. I mean, you can clearly see the pins. Like, it's they're in there. They're jammed in there good. It's not going anywhere, my friend. Yep, when you join the group, you get a free pair of dragon glasses. Is the game good? Oh, hell yeah, the game is good so far, Casey. Definitely very, 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 very fun. I've been having a lot of, uh, a lot of fun going through the, the side quests and, and doing the quests and listening to all the doojanks they got to say. and It's been fun so far. I mean, I can give you a quick recap on the main story if you'd like it. I mean, if not, just feel free to mute it. Basically, the main story seems to be involved around the general idea that there is a type of magic that exists within the Harry Potter world that not everyone can see. Um, apparently, it's a type of magic called ancient magic. Um, and the the ancient magic is apparently something that only very few wizards are born with the ability to see and manipulate. Um, and um, apparently this one mage from a long time ago could do it, as well as a girl um, from a long time ago could do it. And then I'm apparently the next one on the list who can see and manipulate the ancient magic. Um, apparently, the second girl, the, the one in between me and the previous mage, um, seems to have evil intentions, or good intentions that have turned evil, or something along those lines. Um, apparently, ancient magic has the power to manipulate the world. And not only does it have the power to manipulate the world, it also has the power to manipulate people. And, um... So, apparently she has got the idea that she can manipulate the people into, what did she call it, um, removing their, their pain. So, like, for instance, she was specifically talking about one father um, who had lost his son, and she was going to manipulate the father, I guess, to remove the pain of losing his son. And, um... Apparently, she was forbade from doing this. Um, but every single time she comes across somebody who is in pain, she wants to remove the pain from the person. And she started doing experiments on them, apparently, to remove the pain from those people. Um, I'm currently in the process of doing the trials, which is the original mage that could see the ancient magic had prepared for people like me. But um, I think there's something sinister that's going to go on with the, the second girl. Uh, there's also a goblin named Ranrock who apparently has also learned about the ancient magic. Um, I don't think he can see it, but he can. He has figured out some way to manipulate it by using objects. And um, he seems to be hunting for as much ancient magic as he can get his hands on. And uh, that's also a, a, a bit of an issue in the story plot-wise. Let me listen. You don't know who you are! 
Revelio. When the war is over. Haha, <laughs> vestibule. I'm glad she liked it, Scott. Up something nasty while in the middle of that fight. How nice to see you, my young friend. Over here. What's up, Fig? My man, Fig. My man, Figalig. What's going on here? Professor Rookwood was right. The place is crawling with Victor Rookwood's lot and Ranrock's loyalists. They're working together, all right, but it is not a friendly alliance. I'm sure you'll agree that we need to find a way in other than the front gate. Let's go. Others in the front gate? Sure, why not? Let's go. Someone's here. Love you. Can you bring Send you. Sorry, buddy. Revelio. Should have challenged somebody more your size. Not me. You can't stop Ranrock's rebellion. Nope. You're right. Sure. Ranrock won't be stopped. Let me go. Descend. Let me go. Descend. Rebellion. That's our way in. Can you get up there? Okay. Akio, Unganium Leviosa. Leviosa. I wouldn't have to dig if you could simply manage to bring me the child. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. You let them board the carriage. My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach at that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough power here? I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. Allowed me? You are here only because you are descended from a keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. I will share with you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So... Unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, bring me the child.
We already knew they were after you. But now we know they're digging for stores of magic. And Ranrock knows about the Keepers. Yes, I caught that too. Professor Rookwood said that you'd understand more once you complete the next trial. Let's get into that castle. I mean, it took me about 37 days to hit level 99, AJ. Not exploiting every single mechanic within the game. Any special words you want me to pass on to your mum? Yeah, um... Bye. Descend. Descend. A lamb to the slaughter. How nice it is stuffed. Oh, Yep, did. He insulted my mom. He's gonna do it again to watch. Oh. Someone there. Any special words you want me to pass on to your mum? It's a rough fight. A lot of those uh, wizards that I was fighting were much higher level than me. So, like, I noticed that when the the when it turns red, when their name turns red, it means they're much higher level than me, and it's harder to duel them. And uh, there was a couple red wizards in the in the mix. Rebellion. Hello. Hello. 
those things on the wall. You got me curious. All right, Joy. Have fun, man. I'll probably still be on when you come back. Revelio. Jacks over here. Looks like there's a way into the castle on that side. It's not to come out on the Xbox until April. Perhaps not the best place to be caught alone. Seems to be a um I suppose that's the quick Revelio. symbols like these before. I need to find all of them and cast at them quickly in succession. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Stop messing me up. Rebellion. Oh, it already did it. That's why. I was already one step ahead of the game, I guess. One step ahead of the game. Goblin tracks. They're a step ahead of us. Let's see where they lead. That's pretty. <laughs> That's very pretty. It's very pretty there. Sunlight coming in. It's a very pretty. They did a good job. It's a pretty. This is very pretty in here too. This must be Revelio, the store of magic and the source of Ranrock's power. It looks empty. If they've taken all of it, why are they still here? Ranrock said there's more to be found, and if he's right about that, it may or may not be located here. Wherever it is, we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? Revelio. I heard something. I was hoping that was you. Professor Rookwood, the goblins and dark wizards who've overrun your castle are digging for stores of magic and have broken open some sort of container. No. Things are more dire than I could have imagined. If, as you told Percival, a goblin in his vault was wielding a powerful magic, then they have somehow learned. It cannot be. And, sir, they know you were a keeper. Ranrock used the term. This makes no sense. How did... We shall discuss this later. Right now, you must complete the next trial. I'm ready. Just tell me where I need to go. The power you stand to wield must first be fully understood. The trials will ensure that. Power without knowledge is dangerous indeed. In the wrong hands, we will simply have to outwit Ranrock. And my unfortunate namesake. Very well, Professor. Yes, you're Tell me where I need to go. I shall sake. reveal the path. Professor Fig must leave you now. Yeah, Professor Fig, you're not allowed on this journey. I would join you if I could. I shall await your arrival in the map chamber. 
the second trial. The trial of the trials. Hear ye, hear ye, the trial has therefore been engaged, and the judge of the trials doth then say that Noll should sit, sit, sit. Once you have sitted, then we shall begin the trial of trials. Revenue. What say you in your defense? What say you, pathetic mortal? Pathetic mortal. Rebellion. I don't think that was what they intended for me to do. I'm so confused. seems to be something on the floor underneath of it so that it doesn't work the way that it should interesting Levioso. Position that pillar to climb out of here. Perhaps the archway is the answer. Accio, Indarium Leviosa. Quite a strange puzzle. Rebellion. 
Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. All right, let's just put this right here in the center. And then... Accio. I didn't Leviosa. want to touch you. I go through the other way. Um. Akio, the Guardian Leviosa. Leviosa. I guess I was just overthinking it. I don't know. That seems a little simple for what they had in mind there. Revelio. is blocking the path. We'll need to move it. Capulso! Accio! Glacius! Defender! enough. Well, that was a feast for my eyes. That was beautiful looking. So satisfying. Incendio. Oh god, I jumped straight off. That did definitely did, did not make me want to, uh, yeah. Dodge. I think I need to not dodge. Well, actually, I can't not dodge. Dodging is the only way I can deal with half of those spells. Ooh, dangerous. Dangerous.
Incendio. Ow. Revelio. I believe I need to proceed to the left here, but how? Confringo! Let me also incendio. Descendo. Defendo. Glacius. Capulsa. Accio. I don't know what spell to cast on that thing. Bump it. Revelio. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. That fell all the way down into the nothingness. Oh. Guessing I gotta reset this. Oh. Since my, my cube fell all the way down. down there now. Can I get it? Uh. Flying is off limits right now. There's a little symbol, see it uh, on the, the top right of my uh, my little mini map. My, uh, indicates that uh, I cannot fly. So I screwed the pooch by dropping it. Yeah, the bird horse is also off limits, off limits, off limits. You know what? Let's try this. Let's uh, save it. And then let's load the save. See if maybe that refreshes the, uh, the do jank. It might have put us at the beginning of the trial again, but... I need to proceed to the left here, but how? Okay. 
Wingardium Leviosa. What the ham biscuit? It just did it again. The spell just stopped working as soon as it went above the... I don't get it. Let's try it again. At least we know how to refresh it so that we don't have to worry about it disappearing. It seems like as soon as it comes across the the platform, it doesn't work anymore. So there's nothing I can like do about it. I can levitate. I can levitate it here. How? Maybe if I just like chuck it or something. Maybe if I just just put up good. Livius Psalm Livius Psalm There's a pillar here, but no ledge near it. Can you grab on? Seem to target it. I'm guessing the sword probably has some sort of significance.
It was just part of the puzzle I had to go through the door. You're not allowed to see him, I guess, unless you go through the door. Hitting those marks readjusts the archways. Perhaps there's a way forward from the other side of this one. Is it possible to pull one of those blocks through the archway? Way too high. How the hell am I supposed to make that? After pulling the block out through the archway, I can place it where it can be climbed on while on the other side of the archway. Mm. I just don't see where the hell I'm supposed to climb up. There's just, it's, everything is too high. It's all way too damn high. Revelio. I reset it because I walked away.
Well, that makes the puzzle a hell of a lot easier. Didn't even know you could do that. chest Revelio Oh ugh, ugh. make me sick Wigan Weld Potions. Boss Fountain. Time for the boss, boys. Time for the boss. The BOSS is up in here. The BOSS is coming with fear. They're gonna knock you down a peg or two. They just gave me seven Wigan Weld Potions. So it's a big boss boss. It's a big old boss. We're gonna have to fight a big old boss. He's a big old monster. Monster horse. Gonna have to fight that monster boss. Let me 
Comes the big boy. Um. Spell the armus in here. Since the sendo doesn't work, let's throw that one in there. Why can't I never dodge that one? Too late on that one, I guess. I mean, there's Mrs. Weasley. Mrs. Weasley is here. Oh, I gotta start all the way over from the beginning. And... Oh, he knocked my butt right off. Down I go into the abyss. He threw his sword at my head and it wasn't a miss. And down I go into the abyss. Pretty much. Look at Jay Franklin, pretty much.
You know what, let's do um, the ice spell. And then uh, let's still do... I like the slash. The slash seems to work pretty good on those guys. I literally dodged that. I hit the dodge button on that too. Cold Slim? No, I have not. I'm still dying. Ow. Continue exploring Charles Rookwood's tribe. What a relief. Whatever is on my head, it's the freaking it's freaking Gryffindor. This is literally the Gryffindor. 
Ah, uh, bandana. It's the Gryffindor bandana, sir. Rah, rah, Gryffindor. Rah, rah, Gryffindor. You guys can't tell your Harry Potter symbols? That's what it is. You guys can't tell your Harry Potter symbols. This is obviously Gryffindor. Gryffindor! <clears throat> Rebellion. No. Oh, another memory. Another memory of the past. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Memories. Memories. Golden yellow memories. Gonna look inside the memories. I must say I'm curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do you come in. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Uh oh, she did it. Father, she manipulated her father's memories. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels. I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. Have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. Well, she pulled the devil out of him. The demons out of his soul. She pulled the demons out of his soul. His, his very soul. And trapped them in a jar so that it could be conveniently broken later. Why do they always put it in glass? Why don't they put it in something that's more substantial than the thing You're it won't back. get out of? And in one piece, no less. Yeah. <coughs> it is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? What was the glowing strand that Isadora pulled from her father's chest? It was... pain. You will understand more about her actions as you complete the trials. I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. Hello. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. 
I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of, well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. Yes, very well, Professor. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well, and we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. Well, that looks gold. A little frost air. Is it, uh, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it Christmas yet? <clears throat> is that what they're trying to tell me? It's, the uh, seasons are changing and it's Christmas soon. Oh, it's like I took a nap. I took a nap in the bed and what was going on? I didn't mean to do that. That's not what I meant to do. Why are you doing that to me? Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. Oh man, I'm really close. I only need four more to daily in keys. I kind of want to do that. I want to see what's in this chest. The uh, the daily in keys are are taunting me. Um, they're not particularly difficult to find. I mean, they're big giant. Rebellion. You know, like chests. All you got to do is find the chest. I have then... been asked to teach you the exploding charm, Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class. Ooh, Bombarda. I like Bombarda. Let's just look around. Okay, here's one right here. This one hasn't been opened yet. This is one of the four. So we just need to find the key that's floating around somewhere. I hear it. Revelio. Yes, I told you. You're very clever. Clever? How offensive. I'm trying to find the key. Oh, there it is up there. Okay. All right. So we just need to go up and attack the key. And then the key will go down. That was that's one of the uh, of the ones we can get. All right. So now we chase the key, and of course the key goes back down, which is what we want. Yes. All right. So the key should now be at the uh, the dojank, and we just need to find some more of these. This one, I think it's a little bit further down. Revelio. Oh, okay, now there it is up there. All right, good. One less key we gotta worry about. Ooh. 
Now we've got three house tokens left to collect. Um, I don't know where all of them are, but I mean, you can very easily find them just by Revelio. Revelio, and look around and see if you see a chest. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those demigod statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, bring me a few more moons and I'll show you how to improve casting Alahamora. Where should I look for more demigod statues and moons? All of my uh, usual haunts, which incidentally have now become quite haunting. Here in the castle, in Oxmead, and believe it or not, in some of the surrounding hamlets. Oh, my tormentor is nothing if some not Some of the surrounding thorough. hamlets. Kept me from all my usual engagements for an eternity now. I'll keep an eye out for more demigod statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor, especially since they can only be collected at night. Okay, so he's given me a hint, though. That apparently, they're not only Rebellion. within the castle. Apparently, they're also outside of the castle, which is something I didn't know. Trying to find the Dedalian keys. Portrait guards the Gryffindor common room, requiring a password from any who wish to enter. She and her friend, Violet, are known to wander among the other portraits, periodically helping themselves to vats of wine therein. So this is the Gryffindor common room area. Revelio. So not this way. Let's go down even further. Let's try over here. I think I'm probably around like 20 hours in. Rebellion. Hamora. Oh, looks like outside in the garden. I want to say it looked like he was right around Rebellion. here. I mean, I can always just scan for him. The moth does show up on the scan, the, the, the Revelio scan. You just gotta pay attention because he's rather studying small. studying Salazar Slither in his spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. There he is right there. Lumos. Let's see what's inside this one. Oh, a stairwell. Okay, where does this go? Revelio.
Okay, we got a page. Looks like a cabinet up there. Yep. Found another key. Okay, so that's gonna go upstairs. We need to figure out how to get up there. Two more. Rebellion. Some things even higher, it seems. What is this? That's strange. Um, try making myself invisible. We got Reviosa. That's strange. Oh God, Scott! No, pick her up from work. Hurry up! Leave! Go! Go! Tell her it was my fault. I'll take the blame for this one, Scott. Oh, it's very fun so far, Sean. Very fun indeed. Been having a lot of Rebellion. fun with it. A lot of puzzles to figure out, a lot of very intricate doodads and things and stuff. Hey, another one, another key. How many does that make? You got one more? One more, right, after this? And then I can finally find out what's in the house chest? I'm actually kind of excited. Rebellion. I've been doing these Dedalian keys for quite a long time. The idea of finally now having access to the, the house chest is pretty fun. There's a lot of puzzles that they haven't really, like... Alohomora. Told me how to do yet. Still need to figure them out. I feel like the puzzles throughout Hogwarts are there to encourage the students to practice their magic, if that makes sense. I think that's really all it is. Like, they're there to help you, you practice, to encourage you to practice. I invented blue powder. Uh, there. I mean, I think we're pretty much done with this zone, except for, like, some of these puzzles that we haven't been told about yet. I don't know where the last one is. It's literally the last one. So as soon as we find a a um a, a locked cabinet, I guess would be the term. Rebellion. As soon as we find a locked cabinet, we don't have it. We just got to find it. Then we just find the key. Literally just Rebellio, 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 Rebellio. 
hoping to see it. It's a pretty big chest. I mean, it's our cabinet or whatever you want to call it. It's not like it's easy to hide them, so... Like, when you find one, it's pretty obvious that Duncan owes his reputation one. to you. Let's try going down the steps. Let's see what happens when we go down the grand staircase. Looking as we go. Revelio. That's the entrance to the uh, Slytherin house thing, so that's not what we're looking for. Revelio. It's a bathroom. Pretty sure that's another bathroom. Is that it right there, or is that just a door? It looks like a door. That's locked, can't go in there. Alright, I don't think it's in this zone. So let's get out of here. Let's go this way. Revelio. To the next area. Oh, how fun a slow Revelio. Slow coach. Slow coach. There's a flu powder up there. Let's try this side. Handy resource indeed. I think there was one in there. I actually already got it. If I remember correctly, there was one in the divination room. And I did already get it. Revelio. There was a couple in here. I, I think I got all the ones that were in here. I'm pretty sure anyway. Cause there was like a few. There was there was one around a corner. There was one going this way and that way. I think for the most part that's been done. Now, one more house uh, token to find. One more house token, and I can't find the stupid thing. Wingardium Leviosa. Glacius. Lumos. Glacius. Leviosa. Another field guide page. Revelio. All right. It's 
another one of those moth mirrors. Which it doesn't look like we've done. Rebellion. Not sure where it's hiding though. Alohomora. <coughs> Yeah, I noticed there was something to do with the clock tower. And now that I have the Wingardium Leviosa spell, I might be able to do it. AJ, cover your ears, okay? Cover your ears, AJ. Wingardium Leviosa. AJ got mad at me last time. One out, one to go. Okay, so I think that's what it was, is I needed the other spell to actually put this together. This was one of the puzzles that I didn't finish last time. I didn't have the right spells to do it. I knew what I needed to do, but I didn't have the spells I needed. So I'm looking for the big bell, which I don't know where the big bell is. I need to find it. It's got to be around here somewhere. Rebellio. Try scanning. Maybe it will reveal it. Reveal the location. Nope, there it is. I see it. It's all the way up there. Okay, grab we the bell. Exactly sure what the point of that was, other than just to fix it, I guess. I mean, it may also be a code thing where you have to, uh, that could be anything. I could sit here for hours with that. I don't even know if I'd be able to do it. There's also these down here. Mm. Well, I fixed the bells, at least. Rebellion. Not really sure what good that does me, but I fixed the bells. Frog. There's a cabinet that I already did. Um, I know I can't do that lock. I've already tried. I could have sworn I already did this one. Lumos. I don't want my... Yeah, no, I never did get this one. I never did figure out where the hell that was with the Sphinx and the... And the weird stuff. Never, never did. Is there a sphinx in here? 
Alohomora. I think I remember it was behind a locked door. Now that I now that I think about it. And I think I never found it because it was behind a locked door. Yeah. And then literally like I think I even scammed for it. And it was very obvious that it was like right there on the other side of the locked door, but I couldn't actually do anything about it. Now that I can unlock the door I can actually grab it. Yeah, I remember this. Now I can check and see what's in that locked room. Alright, let's see what's in this locked room that we could never go in before. Maybe the last chest is in here. Revelio. So we've got the Sphinx. The Sphinx has a beast with a human head on a lion's body has been used by witches and wizards for centuries to guard viables and secret highways due to its intelligence and affinity for puzzles and riddles. A lock? Hello, look at a lock. Professor Binns, I must say I was baffled by your recent observation that students, in your opinion, seem to be rather lethargic. I can confidently say that I have not seen evidence of such lethargy in my own class. I even took it upon myself to speak with some students in the hope of getting to the bottom of this anomaly. Upon this, I le soon learned that you have been lecturing them on the little-known facts of historical conflicts. Perhaps you might think of moving more swiftly through the finer details. One of them was almost in tears describing a text question pertaining to Grimbold Weft and the number of buttons found on the wizard's garment in the Rebellion of 1752. Apparently one additional button above the norm had been affixed. It's entirely up to you, but students likely to struggle to appreciate such nuances. Only my opinion, of course, and I do hope you don't mind my mentioning. Clearly, sincerely, Abraham Ronan. The number of buttons on his jacket? What? No wonder they're bored to tears and falling asleep and you're talking about the number of buttons on their jacket. Revelio. Makes perfect sense. Ooh, I'd be bored to tears from that too. Hmm. A level two lock. Levioso. Revelio. Well, we got a couple things in this secret room. Wasn't where we needed to go, but we did get some things completed. Powder do drink over here. What are you up to now? Revelio. Looking for the lost Dedalian keys, yes. The Dedalians. Revelio. This is Mrs. Weasley's office. I doubt the last Dedalian key is in here, but I can always Mora. snoop around in Mrs. Weasley's office. Snoop, 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 snoop,
Oh, double gnome. Didn't mean to throw out my pet. Need to go identify some of this stuff. Dear Professor Reasley, thank you for your owl. I was am overjoyed to hear this then that this most recent crop of seventh years includes a number of students who may be both interested in and well suited for a career at the ministry. Of course their OWLs will provide confirmation of the latter, but equally invaluable to our recruitment process is your opinion. You have a unique perspective given your experience with us, and for that I am truly grateful. I look forward to further updates as the term progresses. Respectfully yours, Ferris Spavin, Minister of Magic, London. Thought that was some kind of magic mirror or something. Okay. Kitty kitty, can't you see? Look at all the kitties, kitty kitty kitties. Rebellion. Mm, I feel like it's gonna be inside, not outside, like no matter what, so. We just need to keep exploring. There's definitely one missing, though, I tell you what. Duncan owes his reputation to you. I think we've already gotten all the ones that were in this room. I feel like I need to choose an area of the castle that we haven't explored. That's the Grand Staircase. The Library Annex. The Bell Tower Wing. The Great Hall. I guess let's just do the... Do this side. The, the, oh, actually, we were in the hospital wing before, weren't we? Are there going to be any dragons? They've talked about dragons an awful lot. I've seen a couple dragon skeletons, dragon scales, and various things, but I haven't actually seen the dragons themselves. Revelio. So I'm not entirely certain on that one. Orange Eye of Newt goggles. Well, they seem to be better than mine. And as I said, if I don't put on the next pair of glasses that I get, there you go. That's what you guys wanted. There. Now I go from this to this. That is exactly what you guys wanted, right? An upgrade. An upgrade, yes. Yes. We are now upgraded uh, to an even sillier pair of goggles. I'm uh, glad. Rebellion. I am happy. I am glad. How nice this okay. Is I don't think this is the right place because we've already really kind of searched this area pretty good. Um, what about the library annex? Have we really searched the library annex that well? I mean, I just haven't seen any dragons yet. Rebellion. That's all. I'm sure there probably are dragons. Alright, I feel like I've checked out this area pretty good too, actually. So... God, what, what, what is there left? Um, actually, I don't think I've searched this area. The, um... Yeah, I definitely have not searched this area for uh, for Doojanks. I don't know if there's any Doojanks in this area, but... We certainly can check. Revelio. Any Dedalian keys? Lots of venomous tentaculars. Do 
dirigible plums. The orange uridish radish like flow fruit floats upside down as it grows. Some believe it can enhance one's ability to accept the extraordinary. Rebellion. Doesn't seem like there's anything down here. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Revelio. Okay, so not there. I think we've already been through there a couple times. Uh oh. Horn bots. Your chance for love has been banned. I hate to say it, but your chance for love has been banded. Banded, banded, banded. Rebellion. Don't let it get to you. I'm sure you'll still find love. Just not here. Houseghosts can procure rents if needed. Man, I am having, like, no luck finding this last one. I've found so many of them, too. Like, it's... it's uh, I don't know where the last one is. Let's check, um... I feel like we're just in the wrong place entirely now. Where the hell are we? Outside the castle? <laughs> uh, let's try down here. Clock Tower Courtyard. I have no heart. I don't know. I think my heart's pretty big, actually. Probably a bad thing, you know. Enlarged heart disease. Revelio. Another one of these doors that opens up and then slams shut. And I don't know what the hell that's about. Like some sort of little thing that I need to get. The Well of Four Beasts. Some students believe that a wish made over the Well of Four Beasts, whether near the Thestral Griffin, Chimera, or Hippogriff, will come true for one who has gained the trust of any of the four. I've gained the trust of a hippogriff, of a hippogriff, a grief a hip, a hippogriff, a hippograph, a hippogriff a laugh a laugh, hippogriff a loofle. He's my friend. I call him High Wind, and we fly everywhere together. We fly everywhere together, and we do lots of stuff, and it's pretty fun and cool, and it's actually kind of rough, because he's got feathers everywhere. He's got feathers oh, instead of hair. Are we? Mm. It's the mapped room door. I don't know what the hell this is. Still haven't figured out what the hell I'm supposed to do with these. Really don't know. Wish there was something that would Revelio. tell me, perhaps. But nee. Oh, is that it? Is that it? I think that's it. That's it. Uh, this way. Okay, in here. Hey, that's the last one. All right, we just need to find the the fly, the dandy fly. The silly, the silly key. We need to find the silly key. Where are you, silly key? There it is. I see it. I see it. Aha! We can finally open the house chest. Oh. 
We can finally open the house chest. We can finally open it. Oh, come on. I chased you. Revelio. Don't be so rude. I chased you. Okay. You gotta, like, keep chasing them until they get to their their destination sometimes. Come on. Go, go, go. Yes! Yes! Unlimited power! Get in there. All right, we've finally gotten all the Dedalian keys. All the Dedalian keys have been gathered, and now we can go and put them in the Doojank. In the Doojank we can go. Let's put them in the Doojank, you know. Because when we're done, we put them in the thing, and we find out what's inside the Doojank. Don't tell me what to do, cause I want to be. I've got to open up the chest, and then I'm probably gonna have to go pee. It better not be a combination lock like I thought. Cause that's just painful. Aha! Hee hee! Here, here. Here, here, here. Put him in the thing. Put him in the thing. Put him in the thing. This Dedalian Keys Put challenge is coming thing. along nicely. Here we go, the last house token. Time to see what's inside. Well, look at that. Hufflepuff Thanks goes to the former headmistress, Relic Upraxia Mom. House uniform. Relic house. How do I put on these these cosmetic uniforms? I don't even know. There's supposed to be a way you can put on the cosmetic uniforms, but I don't know how to do it. Like maybe there's a maybe I gotta go to the the, the I don't know. Let's go sell this stuff in town because I got like a million doojanks. Let's identify what we've got. And, I kind of want to see what this Hufflepuff uh, uniform looks like that I spent so long to get. <clears throat> Alright, so can I do it at the loom, perhaps? Like... I can upgrade them. Doesn't seem like the loom is where I need to do this. Alright, I'll be right back. I gotta go Peppas. I gotta go Peppas. The dog's probably gotta go Peppas. We're both probably gonna go Peppas.
I really don't have any idea how to do this cosmetic stuff, so I'm gonna just look it up. It's the easiest way. Um... How to equip the cosmetics. Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Gaming. Today in the studio, I'm gonna go and show you how to equip the Dark Arts cosmetic set. Now, if I press options and then go on over to gear in the upper left here, I can equip the Dark Arts set. Now, first I have to have an item selected. So if I go to headwear right here, I have nothing selected. I'm gonna choose something in here. So I have a dark flat cap that I'm gonna equip. Now, when I back out here and I have something selected, an option to change appearance will appear. So if I press square now, so I can see the dark arts hat and also um, the dark arts. Okay. I can change the appearance of stuff. Well, here we go, boys. Here we go. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Changing the appearance of this stuff. So it's here that I can do it. All right. Cody, get down. Cody. Leave the chinchillas alone. Stop messing with them. They're too small and you're too big. I don't know why you think it's okay to jump up on their cage and start being rowdy. Hey. Leave them alone. One of your paws is bigger than they are, okay? One of your paws. They don't need you being mean to them. You can talk to them and look at them through the bars, but you do not jump up there. No. All right. I got tons of cosmetics. Could have done this a long time ago. I like those. Those are nice. All right. Scarf appearance. I can choose my appearance of my scarf. I got ton. I had tons of star scarves. Some of them were really cool looking. Well, I like that one. That one's that one's nice. I like that. Might not go with my my total my final outfit, but we'll see. Oh man, I got everything up in here, don't I? Hufflepuff Relic House Uniform. That's what I got from uh, from completing that quest, is the Relic House Uniform. I actually really kind of like that. I never really do. That's, that's not bad at all. I've also got a full suit of armor, apparently. Oh wow, this one. That's the dark arts robe with the skulls and the flames and stuff. Authentic historian uniform. Yeah, venomous tentacular robe. Just a cape. What the hell is that? Dragon hide protector's cloak. Oh wow, that looks kind of cool too. I think I'm gonna go with the Hufflepuff robes though. Those are pretty nice looking. I like those. I've also got like every other robe in existence too on the list. All right, let's take a look at my outfits. I've got, uh, hold on, actually, let me, um, let me take this off for a second so I can actually see them. Legendary armored attire. Got some top of the class ensemble. Quidditch captain's uniform. Dark arts ensemble. Crossed wands champion garb. It's kind of interesting. That's not cool. S Secret Solver's bathing costume. Hogwarts regalia. Uh, that one's kind of nice. The Protectors Ensemble. I actually kind of like that one. The Officer's Uniform. 
And then I got all these other ones that I've found throughout my play. That one looks kind of nice. I like that one. I kind of like that one. It's simple. I bet you it goes with the robe really well. I do like the Protector's Ensemble. I like that one. Alright, now to our hat. <laughs> I've got a freaking Knight's hat. A green top hat. Zonko's Chief Prankster hat. Freaking full armored head. I got a bowler cap. I got tons of hats. I got, I got all sorts, don't I? All my fancy hats. I got a straw hat. I got a doojank hat. I got my little top hat. I got a black top hat. <laughs> I like the black top hat. Yes, yes. Oh, I got all sorts of gloves too. I got uh, legendary gloves. Ooh. Fancy gloves, er, dragon hide herbologist gloves, lucky leprechaun gloves. I got a million pairs of gloves. They're all kind of cool looking, I'm not going to lie. Some of them got like punching doojanks. Those kind of match my outfit there though. They, they kind of do. The unbeatable quidditch gloves, those kind of match. Kind of like those. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Unlimited power. <laughs> so I'm using the uh, black and gold one. I got a bunch of new ones. Nope, still like the black and gold one best. Yeah, the loom is where you add uh, stuff to your gear, I know. I knew. I knew. I need to go sell all my my less than good stuff real quick. Let me just go to the... Go to Hogsmeade. It's the easiest place for me to sell this stuff. Just unload... Load everything I've got that I don't need anymore. Well, now that I'm not worried about the appearance of my stuff anymore, I guess I can just pretty much wear whatever I want. Get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Oh man, look at my freaking my Dedalian key robe, dude! That thing freaking glows in the darkness. Oh man, oh baby, oh baby. Baby, 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 ooh, baby, 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 ooh. You're back. Nice to see you again. I love it. I am still actually wearing all my stuff, by. right? Hope to see you again. A little bit worried. I just sold everything I owned. Okay, still am wearing that. Still am wearing that. Okay, all right, all right, go. There was a pair of gloves that I sold him that I honestly kind of felt like uh, might have been better than what I had today? on. But it's a little late for that, isn't it? Thanks for stopping by. 
Hope to see you again. All right, so now that we got all our doojanks sold, um, what's our next quest? What is your quest? To find the Holy Grail. What is your favorite color? Oh, dang. She wants to teach me Bombarda, but she also wants me to catch a Deary Crawl with a Nabsack and acquire a giant purple toad with a Nabsack. Hmm. Acquire all three combat plants and use them simultaneously. Do I have all three combat plants? I have the Venomous Tentacula, uh, Chomping Cabbage, and the Mandrake. I guess I need them. Is there a... Um, that shop up here, Dogweed and Death Cap. I think that's the one that I'm looking for. Oh, thank you, Anthony. I appreciate that. Four ninety nine. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> I wasn't really trying for pirate cosplay. This is just a Hogwarts Gryffindor bandana, and I thought it would be funny to wear the Gryffindor bandana. I did this one time before, and I actually wore it as a pirate for Halloween. Had the eye patch and everything, and the hook. Everybody was like, that's a really cool bandana. And I'm like, it's just Gryffindor. And they're like, oh, it is Gryffindor. What do you know? I was like, I'm a Gryffindor pirate. Hogsmeade, here I come. All right, let's see if she has the... Uh... Pardon me? Might I ask a thing? Oh, well, somebody outside wants to... we show you some of what's available. Quest. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you go far. Right, I'm gonna grab uh, some seeds from her too, why not? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. I wish I had the Griffin. I wish I did have like some Harry Potter stuff to put on. I don't have anything. I was trying to find like a Harry Potter robe, like a like a house robe. Oh my god, do I really want to talk to you? Why do you look so freaking dolled up? Like like you're literally like a Barbie doll. You got like purple hair and blush on and like the whole nine yards. I think I'm going to regret talking to you. Hello, is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Sacharissa Tugwood and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But, I only want to help the less fortunate. How genuinely kind of you, yes. Yeah. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the forbidden forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. Sure. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvelous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few boobatubas, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. I'd go myself, Our spotty but... classmates are counting on you. So I'd you go myself, count. but I don't want to. Into the Forbidden Forest for Booba Tubers. I hope it's worth the risk. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I don't know what her name is. Tugwood? I, I guess. Where does she want me to go? She wants me to go somewhere really far away.
feel like I'd be better off just teleporting there. Um, it's not even on my list. Cody, what are you doing? Uh, sit down. And stop finding things that you own. I can see already you chewed on something that doesn't belong to you. Because there's little bits of blue eraser all over the place. Was it a tasty blue eraser? Huh? I bet you it tasted like garbage. I don't even know if I want to do this quest. Why are there two? Well, you know what? I'm not even going to complain about it. I like how the seasons are changing. Uh, something that I noticed is that the seasons are slowly changing. Um, maybe it's going a little bit too fast, like day-wise, comparison to like how many days it's been. But it definitely does seem to be uh, progressing. Uh, it was Halloween a little while ago, and there were pumpkins all over the place, and and now it's cold and there's snow all over the place. So. Is that a flu? No, that was a, a well. Betting on the dragon fights was the best decision I've made yet. This is where Sakurissa said to go. And where are those booba tubers? There's a forest troll here. Just my luck, a troll. Oh, that smells awful. Only four more, thank goodness. Uh, can't protect myself while I'm inside of this passageway. Just a random dead guy. A whole dead dragon skeleton. Dull tasks. You can feed a beast, or it can feed you. If you get my meaning. Incendio. Leaving the circle. There's like a purple circle, and I gotta. I guess I just need to find it. Revelia. Alohomora. Hmm. The first animal I've rescued. Can he get out? Hmm. Oh, I let him through. No, too harsh. Not stupid. More than luck. Let me out, so. Protego. Mind yourself. I'll get him. Incendio. You who are to the cold and the Let me out. Enjoy stealing hippogriffs, do you? Confringo! Incendio! Look alive! Incendio! Levioso! One was poacher in the wizarding world. That one was annoying. All she was doing was casting the frickin' Levioso over and over again. Levioso, 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 Levioso. I get it, you know the Leviosa spell. What else do you know? Uh, uh, uh. 
Found one out of four booba tubers so far. It's no wonder she didn't want to come in here. Incendio. Incendio. This place is nasty. Revelio. Incendio. Confringo. Nebiosa. Incendio. I feel like I got bamboozled into coming in here. noise and I was trying to figure out what the hell it was. I'm pretty sure it's just Cody sitting on the fan. Like literally just sitting on it. I don't, I don't know where the hell these boo-boo tubers are. I feel like I need to kill the troll or something. Like, if I don't kill the troll, I'm not going to find the booba tubers. Because they don't seem to exist anywhere. The only one I found so far was in the troll's cave. Exactly what I always wanted. Actually, I need some booba jumpers. Hey, we found some. Revelio. Okay, that was it. Oh no, we need one more. Dang it. Dang, nabbit. Is there really the only ones are are just in here with the for control? I guess that's that should do it. Hello, troll. I'd better get back to Zacharissa now. Let's fight. Incendio. 
incendio. Got me. Bogies are troll, troll, troll bogies are hard to search for. Rebellion. All right, let's go back to town and give her her do janks. Didn't take us very long, did it? Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Killed two trolls on the way. Like, holy crap. Two trolls. Two trolls. Not one, but two trolls. Snape is most definitely not the hero. So. Was my chat bugged or something? I swear that was like a million years ago. Try refreshing the uh, rowels of cash. All right. That will be enough of Sakarissa. I found the boot. The tube as you needed. Yes. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Oh, no, 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 deal whatsoever. You just totally forgot to add, tell me about the trolls, the poachers, the spiders, all right? The two trolls, not just one troll, but two trolls. I need the higher price. It actually was a spot of trouble. You never mentioned I might encounter a troll. I think you should pay me more. I suppose a higher price is less offensive than being forced to regard the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our pubescent classmates. Thank you, and your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more grateful. Our PPPs? I or our unsightly spotty classmates. The poor pimply peers. The PPPs. One day the wizarding world will know my name, and you will have been a small part of it. A small part of it. Ah, yes. Those two mountain trolls that I fought. Absolutely. And the poachers. You know, no big deal whatsoever. No big deal whatsoever. Oh, yeah. We got to finish up the Dedalian Key quest. Because we actually did finish the Dedalian Key quest. So we can go talk to Nell. We can tell her what's in the chest. She never did uh she never did find out what was in the chest. We're gonna we're gonna go tell her. Nell was really excited about the keys. Well, I caught them all, Nell. All the keys are mine, Nell. Revelio. This wooden statue bears the likeness of Pangor Dawn, fearless feline, mouse hunter, and devoted study companion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's still humming. You're never gonna make him stop humming. You're never gonna make him stop. Mm-hmm. All right, Nell. Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Check out these fine threads. Check out these fine threads, Nelly. Hello, Nelly. Actually, I found all of the keys and opened my house chest. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting costume. Brilliant. Whew. Well, thank you for solving that mystery for me. I always wondered what those keys would lead to. These fine threads, Nelly. Look at these fine threads. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to run around you in circles, yeah, because I got some fine threes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got some fine threes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at it. Dapper, Dapper Dan. Dapper Dan. Oh, yeah. Says, oh, yeah, yeah. Got na da na na Look at me. I so freaking see. She don't care about my threads. I am upset that she does not care about my threads. Alright, we have another quest, which is to utilize all three combat plants simultaneously within a battle. So we need to go somewhere where there are monsters to fight, and then we need to use all three combat plants in the battle. Which I feel like is going to be excessive. Delicious. How nice to see you, my young friend. Stop talking. Jeez. Always talking. Confringo. Incendio. Let me also. Defendo. Yeah, combat plants. I tell you this. Hogwarts is lucky they've got protective charms. I never like you. All right, that's it. Return to Professor Garlic. Garlic. Return to Professor Garlic. To the Professor of Garlic. Because he's spicy like garlic. Honestly, the way some of those Slytherins fawn all over Professor Black, it's embarrassing. Even he seems irritated by it. Then again, what isn't he? I'm far too afraid of heights to fly on a broom. Alright, Garlic, where are you, Professor Garlic? Mm -hmm. Stop being rude to each other. Oh, this is really good, Tomac. This is a great game. How much Are you kidding me? It's too hot in here for my chinchillas. I can tell they're overheated. Got a bowl of ice in there for them, and I got the window open. Oh, it's you! Just the person I need. Perhaps a hybrid. I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. 
Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Flutterby well, bushes. There's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving. Bush. It's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here Rebellion. in Rebellion House. Just mind. Flipendo. Please. Flipendo. Levioso. Flipendo. Knockback Jinx Flipendo, like Accio, is a force spell capable of dispelling violet shields. Oh, it's you! Just the person I need. What do you Samantha, want from me? Is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William, the one I told you about after charms class. He's, he's been cursed. He ignored my warning, and now he's lying in St. Mungo's, looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm never. sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. That's hilarious. <laughs> beets for feet. <laughs> how hilarious. I mean, how, how terrible. Horrible, truly. You and the entire school may find it funny, but the situation is dire. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. Hmm. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that were possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. He clearly needs help, and he clearly deserved it. <laughs> if I'm honest, I'd say he had it coming. Normally I'd agree with you, but he's my brother. I know what he did showed abysmal judgment on his part. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Of course, I'll help. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Yes, Brockborough. The barrow of Brock. Yes, let me let you know, uh, my friend. Of the burrow of the brock, of the brock burrow, yes, the brock burrow. Many a man and woman has gone to the brock burrow, and in the brock burrow has met their the untimely the death. Burrow. But Please that's okay, because we would so like to go there. to the brock burrow ourselves, and show ye all that the brock burrow is not to be trifled with, uh, not to be trifled with, not sure indeed. How I fell in a place like this. It's a brock bro. <laughs> Let's go to the brock bro, guys. Come on. Enough making fun. 
We need to go to the brook, but uh it's important. Wanna get these stupid flu thingies. They're all over the place. Why is that one inside the house? Is that really inside the house? What's Handy it, resource indeed, your field guide. It is and inside the house. Be included. Incendio. All right, I want to get a couple of these on the way. There's, there's at least two. There's another one right there. I want to grab that one as well. Being able to fly is uh, very useful. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any more mallow sweets. I'd be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time-sensitive delivery. Time sensitive delivery. What do you got for sale? You sound as if you could use some help. Oh, yes, I could. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. A dear friend of mine in Feldcroft is at his wit's end due to the relentless attacks on his hamlet by Ranrock and his loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. Those cabbages can be fierce. Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. My thoughts precisely. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Oh, definitely, Tomac, definitely. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. What do you have for sale? I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. I'll be able to put that to good. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Did he say I was going to put that to good use? I'm pretty sure he said I'll put that it's to like good a use. Place right out of a storybook. I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. You can't imagine I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. Incendio. Balloons, balloons, balloons. Look at all my pretty balloons. Hey, where's the next one at? I'm missing balloon number three. There's no more balloons. There should be five balloons, not just three balloons. This is a balloon travesty. I feel hurt. I feel hurt that there's not more balloons. Oh, there's a freaking wall there. Can't go forward that way. Oh, there's one of the balloons over there. What are you doing so far away, Mr. Balloon? Oh, there's one right there. I'm gonna pop him too. Har, 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 har. All right. We were supposed to go up here. I believe it's the Dale family tomb or whatever. Frickin' took my quest off because I was talking to him about the cabbages. It's not what I meant to do.
Wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Revelio. The hell's going on here? A little puff skeins all over the place. What's up, little puff skeins? Into the Dale family tomb. Let's go. Well, my feet didn't turn into beets. That's a good start. Rebellion. Lumos. A troll. What's up, Horus? Serious. The riparian troll. Uh-oh. 
Oh, I thought I was a gunner. I was um, a hefty troll. He was a lot higher level than I was. Sarcophagus. This must be Marmaduke. That should reverse the curse. Hopefully. Herbologist would use Devil's Snare. Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. What if he sits like this? What? 
Don't be silly. It'll wear off in a few hours. I think. You think? It didn't before. That other boy was like it for a week. A week? I, I don't feel well. Oh, stop fretting. We'll have you with Nurse Blaney in no time. <gasps> I've just realised. What? What is it? I have an essay I need to finish for bins. Two inches. Merlins, I haven't done mine either. Uh... What? Don't leave me here. Did you memorize the dates of magical discoveries in Goblin Rebellion? Not yet, no. Where are you going? You can't leave me here. You'll be fine. I'll check on you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Uh... Billy Wigsting, you'll be a week like that. Oh. Off on another adventure, are we? He's just stuck floating in the air for a week. <clears throat> I hope people bring him food. How's he gonna go to the bathroom? Just float over the toilet? Plop, plop, slap, slap. Oh my god, I missed the toilet again. <laughs> I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more beats. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. Well, there was a troll in the tomb. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry, that's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course. I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did. Let's go talk to Sebastian. Sebastian's quest is... I'm not going to lie, it's a little sad. Apparently the um, goblins were mining up some ancient magic. It somehow caused an ancient magic explosion, which cursed the his d sister with ancient magic. And uh, none of them, nobody can figure out how to break the ancient magic curse, because mm, none of these people have ever even seen ancient magic. So I'm kind of like his only hope to save his sister. Everybody else has already given up. Which is pretty sad. I do feel like I'm going down the wrong path, though. These are people have Cruciatus curses and all sorts of other bad things going on. You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic.
I know we had to do it to open the scriptorium, but it's not something I'd want to repeat. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book, and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how he frets about the dark arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors. Spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Nose is buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, Please, let me know. It would mean a lot. I mean, if he can really find a... Um, a talisman that can reverse the curses, I mean, that's some very powerful stuff that we should probably get our hands on. I'm afraid of what we gotta do to get it, though. Die. Probably die. Let's go grab this kidnapped cabbage, shall we? Somewhere up in the mountains. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Who the hell? I'm confused.
Alright, so this way. Hmm. The of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. I want this! You're a slippery little shrike. You're that hippogriff thief. Incendio! It isn't Nora Treadwell's precious... Good for you! Let me Holy... Jesus! Nothing! seen nobody use that freaking spell before dude that spell is freaking ridiculous <laughs> oh for some cabbages holy crap y'all be summoning some fire tornadoes for some cabbages i'm a little scared for my life let me range range on my spells a little bit here um yep yeah, yep yeah. actually you know what let's do uh this one. I'll have taken your life. Levioso, descend up. Confringo, can't hide from me. Levioso, what was that? When I get to descend, what is it, Bernard? I heard something. You did? You heard something? Oh no. Levioso. Oh. Am I supposed to be impressed? Enough! Now put me down! Come out before Look, I can bring up! Confringo! Levioso, not going well for you. I, I, I'm scared of hiding! Descendo! Confringo! Confringo! Someone get me down! Now, this has become personal. Confringo! Confringo! Levioso, descendo! Confringo! Confringo! Oh, young friend. Levioso! Confringo! What have you done? Levioso, descendo! Killed your boss. That's what I did. The beast to say. You'll regret crossing my path. I'll regret crossing whose path? What Hello, is this? Laura. Some sort of new creature that I've never caught before. Cage beasts cannot be rescued? What? Why can I not rescue caged beasts? No need to be difficult. I mean, you know. Levioso! Uh, so I could have. I just had to wait until he went to fly, and so and I wasted my opportunity, basically. Well, that was rude. That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. A 
crate in the hand is worth two in the bush. What? Dang, all the way over here? Really? <clears throat> what are you up to now? Enjoy suffering, do you? Yes. I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of Chinese chomping cabbages. Hello? Confringo! You can't descend! Leviosa! Ah. You won't have Oh, dang it. I hit the frickin' dodge button, and I guess I was just too late. Hit the dodge button, but nothing happened. My pet loss, Ron, Ronic. What are you talking about? I haven't lost any pets. I still have all my pets. That was meant for me. Incendio, you can stop me. Leviosa. Incendio. Confringo. Leviosa. Ranrock's hands. Hmm. Ranrock demands an update. If you found it, report back immediately. Where's my chest of Chinese chomping cabbages? Where is it? Revelio. That's all the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Renrock respects or suspects there is more of it in Feldcroft. Do not return until you found it. Hmm. Grab all these lace wing flies while I'm here. Can't remember what they're for, but I know I needed them for something. Oh, the owl that flew away, ironic. Well, is what it is. All right. Let's get to Feldcroft, deliver our chomping cabbages, and then we can move on with the next quest. I'm trying to knock out these quests as quick as I can. Hello there. 
Do you have the special delivery? Hello, Mr. Ndi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? Yes, I do. I have them right here. Marvellous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. Yes, thank you. What do you have for sale? Yeah, we have some. At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully, oh. this is enough to thwart the goblins. Now, if you like what you bought, be sure to come in and see me again. Oh, some new doojanks I can put on. A pleasure doing business with you. Have to check those out. What the... Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? Any time? That sounds a little weird. Is that question mark there? Revelio. Ah, the Feldcroft Well. The well in Feldcroft ran dry some 400 years ago during a great drought. Sadly, many perished as a result, including at least one young boy whose father refused to speak for years thereafter. Legend says that all was saved when a group of benevolent witches and wizards used a never-before-seen powerful magic to restore water in the region. That would be the... Uh, the ancient magic that we were we we saw we actually saw them restore this place. Dear Anne, Hogwarts isn't the same without you. Well, Sharp is still as foul, but you know what I mean. I hope you're feeling better, Sebastian. Revelio. Sebastian, this is my potion kit, not yours. Leave my things be, Anne. <laughs> the residents of Feldcroft sometimes use these practice their spells casting, especially in the light of the recent goblin attacks. Collection updated. Practice dummies. Oh, nice. All right, let's move on to the next quest, shall we? Uh, what should we do next? We can't do that one yet because we have to find creatures to collect. We uh, still haven't finished the demiguys' moons. Apparently there's tons of them all over the place. Uh, talk to Deke in the room of requirement, full of the dead. Sounds interesting. Need to go there anyway to identify some stuff. Maybe do some upgrades. In fact, let's go ahead and upgrade our equipment real quick. Now there's at least one. There was at least one item in here that was better defense than what we had on. Yeah. Let's go throw that on. There was a better pair of goggles too. We'll have to re reapply the appearance to them. To share with you. Ceramic mask. Sixty seven defense. Wow. Okay. At least we can we can reapply some magic to that. There they are. All 
Alright, let's go see if we can upgrade them and add some traits real quick, too. Increasing damage with Bombarda. Greatly increases damage with Expelliarmus. Need a Diraclaw feather for that. Which I don't have. I also need some Puskeen fur, which I don't have. Hold on. There you go. I would like to speak with you when you have a moment. Let me go take care of my pets real quick. Oops, that was not what I meant to do. forgotten. Um, I need to let let the new ones go. Species limit reached. Sell beast at the brood and peck to open space for this species in the vivarium. I don't have room for the Thestrals. That's odd. Alright. So I can collect dojanks from these guys now. Hippogriff feathers. Puff skein dojanks. I'm kind of concerned that I can't store the Thestrals in here, but whatever. Alright, so now I should be able to um, actually upgrade some of this stuff. Whooper feather. Whooper feather. Have a moment. Uh, please come and talk to Deke. What's up, Hello, Deke? Deke? What do you want? You to talk to me. What do you Indeed. want, Deke? Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen, so that you can breed beasts. 
breed them. Sure. I don't know, Deke. Sounds a lot of work. Can't I just carry on rescuing beasts? Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deeg suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. I already have a pair of Thestrals. I already do. I already do. So I need to find um the pen that spells and tones. What's up? Shohana nana gana hana hana gana hana shenanana shenanana gana gans. Shenanana nana nana gans. He said I needed to go to well, spells and tomes, tomes and scrolls. There it is. Someone certainly culled Randrock's loyalists. I can always rely on my Patronus to keep me. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Um, beast feeder spellcraft unlocks the ability to conjure a beast feeder. Place one to make sure your beasts are kept fed. Sounds Nothing like, like finding just the right beast thing. Pen. Now we can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Beast Let's get back to box. deep with the Thestrals. Got a bunch of stuff in here, doesn't he? Potting tables, T shaped. Potions station spellcraft unlock the ability to conjure a T-shaped potion station, perfectly suited to all your potion brewing needs. A pleasure doing business with you. Man, he really does have a lot of stuff. Um. I kind of feel like I need to come back here and just grab it all at some point. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. The Room of Requirement. Oh, man. Herbology tools. I think I need to go out there to make this stuff. That's what it is. Yep, yep, here it is. Okay, beast toy box. Oh, why not? Let's put, let's put two of them. You've reached the budget for this type of item, so you can only have one. A beast feeder. A breeding pen. A 
all sorts of crazy outdoor stuffs. Enchanted fountain. Large hippogriff statue. Building pieces. Wow, you can really make some crazy stuff in here. Like, I could just straight up make a do-jank right here and watch. I'm assuming I could just... Make a freaking platform out here and some other things. This one is bugging me. I have a little doojank out here. Let's go talk to Deke, because apparently we can't do anything with the, uh, the Kestrels until we talk to Deke. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent! Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should come to that pen. This just keeps getting more and more complicated. never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. Hmm, so the Thestrals couldn't be released in that place because that's not where they were meant to be, I say. So they had to be released in this place. And which means we need to... Cody, get down! We need to uh, create a new one, a new pen, I guess. Mostly we could just go ahead and throw everything in here, like, since this is a separate place from the other. There's only one. There's only one in the breeding pen. Shouldn't there be two in the breeding pen? Wait until the beast has given birth. Uh. 
reading time remaining, 29 minutes and 10 seconds. So I've got to wait for them to make a baby, basically. I guess i got to wait for them to make a baby. Wait for them to make a baby. Sounds like I'm going to go do something else for 30 minutes. I'm not just going to stand there and watch them make a babies. I'm not just going to stand there and watch them make the babies. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the room of requirement is really cool. It really is. Not gonna lie. The map portrays a forest bridge and candles I've put into my bag for reference. Okay, that's one that's we might not be able to do. I don't know. I mean, they are pretty ugly, so, yeah, pretty much. Cody, get off their cage! How many times do I gotta tell you, leave them alone? The chinchillas do not want you in their cage. It's they told me themselves. They said he's too big and he doesn't fit. And he's mean looking and he's got sharp teeth and we don't like it. And he's scary. They said you were scary. They said you were scary looking. They told me this. Perhaps I shall scout around Felcroft. I shall be having none of you. I should dismount here. Is High Wing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Oh yeah, she's fine. High Wing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want High Wing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Hauntel Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Never happens. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. Your gran gran. I'm tell her everything. She might be my best friend after High Wing, but she knows how I feel about the Your gran gran. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. Let's go. Uh. 
Oh, look at the center. Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. We want to beat them up, Mr. Centaur. We want to kick their boot and tarkins. <sighs> What's up, Kyle? He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Suspiciously delicious. I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not what? entirely sure. But look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Revelio. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. You know, just drink some random beer that was on the table. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. Mm. Revelio. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Oh, I like Let's the get a less discreet. The land. I like to be less discreet. Disillusionment, misappusionment. I'll be off to the Himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Begin build a potion. Revelio. Man. Huh. 
so much stuff all over the place. Hmm. Into the tent. It's one of those bigger on the inside what tents. In Merlin's name? Are those dragons? Hey, somebody was asking about dragons. There you go. Dragons. Looks like they got dragon fights. It's a dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word. Given how crowded it is here, how could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Join us. Let me see. Descender. Poor guys didn't even know what was coming. going on behind you what's going on down there they must have only just captured her she's putting up quite the fight not a fair one though not without chained up like that let's even her it shall we from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Alohomora. Let's unlock it. A dragon egg. Sounds like I'm gonna have my own pet dragon. My own pet dragon. Yes, yes, yes. I'm All gonna right. have I my have the own pet dragon. Ready. Yep. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Never mind, 
Uh-uh, leave her alone. Incendio. Don't need us too. Go up there. There you go. Look, see? Freedom. You owe me one, dragon. This way. You owe me one, dragon. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. What should we do with the egg? Here? Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. 
I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what mm. we just did. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Yeah, I'll see you back at the castle. I'm gonna grab that one before I leave. Always going somewhere that way. Nice to see you, my young friend. I like to grab these while I'm out here. Makes it a hell of a lot easier. I'm gonna come back later. A couple of them. I mean, I don't have to grab them all, but... You know, let's just go ahead and grab them it's all It's time here. you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, Attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Transformation spell? You're going to turn into a cat? Or a dragon? Or a hippogriff? <clears throat> Sounds like fun, to be honest. Revelio. Butterflies. Where are you taking me, butterflies? Another chest. <laughs> I got the frog choir stand. That's pretty funny, actually. Oh, looks like there's another flu thing right here. Information. I received an owl from her just the other day, and as for her affection, oh, I can assure you, it is well and bountiful. One of the little bastards scratched me. I let him live just long enough to regret it. Been a while since I killed a unicorn. Hey, you guys are just like straight up evil, talking about killing unicorns and all sorts of other crazy stuff. They don't care about nothing. Been a while since I killed a unicorn. Been a while since I've been as evil as I can possibly be, and I really need to stretch my evil muscles every now and then. Otherwise, how will I know exactly how evil I am? East on another North adventure, Ford. are we? Revelio. 
Epi bones. It's not really what I came here for, unfortunately, madam. I'm really just trying to grab all these doojanks. While I'm out here. Come back and do some of these quests later. One balloon? That's it. There should be five. Why am I always on patrol? So wait for my That's weird. What are you up to now? Herida Sticks. Looks like she wants help with something too. I would so appreciate a little Seems to be like a quest at every single one of these things. That's what it seems like anyway. It's just fun flying over the countryside and like seeing all the crazy things that are going around. Like, and then I end up getting like sucked into like some sort of side quest or something. Like, there's a, and there's a lot of side quests out here. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. Way more than I think I originally had thought, even. These are landing platforms. I have no clue why they exist, but when you land on them, it counts to your total. And then they do this. Can we meet at the <laughs> may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Poppy sweeting. Sure, Poppy. Let me just grab this jank real quick. This do jank. Oh, wow, look at this thing locked up tight, don't they? Alright, now that we've got all that stuff done. I mean, there's still more, I'm sure, but... The Dragon Debrief. Let's go do that quest. After rescuing the dragon from the clutches of the poacher pack, Poppy is ready to discuss her next move. She wants to meet at the three broomsticks. So, Hogsmeade. Um, I can teleport right here. <coughs> Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Thank you. 
Over here. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Okay, so that's a, um, that's one of those ones where she doesn't really know the answer, so we just talk to her and that's the end of the thing until she contacts us again later, which she will. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Travel broadens the mind. So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Anamagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Were you born an Animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month. 
then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Can you choose what form your animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Mm. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that hmm. rather awkward conversation. Ay, 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 ay. My full of the dead should be should be finished by now. It's been thirty minutes, hasn't it? For my baby Thestral. My baby Thestral. I got a little baby. I got a little baby. A little Bobby Booby. That's a little dollar baby. Yeah, look, it's done. Little baby. Hello, little baby. I'm gonna do a little bit of scrubbing. I'm gonna do a little scrub with I'm gonna do a little bit of scrubbing. And then we're gonna get your feathers up real nice. Gonna get some food in your tum tum. In your tum tum. That's right. I'm gonna do the brush too. Brush. Brush, 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 brush. <laughs> Where's your partner? Your partner is around here somewhere. Rebellion. There you are. Oh, I didn't mean to do that now. I accidentally bonked him. All right, let's go talk to Deke. Now that we've got our little baby Kestrel, as a little baby. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little baby Thestral has been born. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. 
Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. Mm, your master got what he deserved. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Mm hmm. Deek-a-leek-a-leek-a-leek-a-leek-a-leek. Elf-made ivory gloves. Ooh. Fancy. Fancy indeed. The fanciest of gloves. Ooh. Kubus, I'm gonna get you. Your mama's coming. Calm it down. Your mama is here. Your mama is here, never fear. I kind of like those. Those are kind of nice. I might not actually change the appearance on those. Oh, here he goes. Barkity, barkity, barkinson. There's the monster dog. How was your day at work, baby? Why you still stay so long? I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna go say hello to my beautiful lady.
All right, my beautiful lady's home. I had to. I had to say hi to my beautiful lady. I had to. Guys, don't tell me what to do. Guys can't control me. Collect field page in underground harbor. Collect field page in the from the book on the intermediate transfiguration in the library. Okay. Um I mean the library one should be relatively easily easy, right? We just we just go to the library. I thought we'd already collected all the pages in the library, though. Hmm. That's interesting. It's deep underneath of the library. How am I supposed to get there? It's like everything takes me up and I need to go down. Man, this thing is taking me miles away, isn't it? Where the hell is it taking me? Oh, wow. Okay. Seems to be like actually down, down, like, like literally jump off this bridge down. I was wondering why it seemed like it was so low. Cannot enter while mounted. <coughs> oh, it's some sort of like underground boat dock. It's probably where the first years came in, right? That's what I would assume. Revelio. Yeah, this seems like the first year's boat dock. Apparently, whatever it is that I'm supposed to get is over there. Located deep under beneath the viaduct courtyard it is the landing for boats delivering first year students across the Black Lake to Hogwarts. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the first year so entrance. So this is the underground harbor. That's kind of cool. We never got to enter this way because we started as a fifth year. Alright, and then we also need the field guide from the book and the Edomir and the library. So we were in the library before and it took us out of the library. I wish we didn't have to use it. We're gonna learn how to turn into a wolf. Or a mouse. Or a chanchula. We can turn into a chanchula. That would be fun. Turn into a chinchiza. Sounds actually pretty cool. Turn into a little chinchilla and go leaping, leaping, and hopping around. Bouncing and boinging and binging and banging and boing, boing, boing. I 
mean, that's what they do. They, they bounce Reading like blue can be as magical as any spring. spell. Why can't students see that? That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration? Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Sure. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? Golden Snidget, the Golden Snuggery. I think it was a uh, Snuggery. The Golden Snuggery. No, incorrect. The answer was the Golden Snidget. The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question: Which potion is commonly referred to as Liquid Luck? Ah, uh, Felis. Felix Felicis. I already know this one. Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Deathly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Visibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Uh, the Bludger, I think? Or the, no, the Quaffle. The Quaffle. That's right. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. No. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. Mm. Uh, you know what? Sure, let's do another round. I'd like to answer more questions. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? Um, the International, the Order of Merlin. The Order of Merlin. No, that's incorrect. The answer was the Wizards' Council. The Wizards' Council disbanded in 1707 after the creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Which dragon breed is the smallest? The smallest dragon breed. Uh, da, 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 da. I think it's the Ukrainian Iron Belly. Peruvian Viper Tooth. Peruvian Viper Tooth. Peruvian Viper Tooth. Brilliant! Though the Viper Tooth is the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length, it is also the fastest breed and feared for its venomous fangs. Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Hmm. Um. Bra, bra, I don't actually know that one, and I think they told me to. I think it was Elfrida Clag. Elfrida Clag. No, the answer was Hengist of Woodcroft. Woodcroft. It is believed that Hengist used the Three Broomsticks Inn as his home. The hide behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? A demiguise. I don't know. I'm going to say demiguise. A demiguise. Yes! While the hide behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey, monkey with, with silver, silver hair. hair. What is the only spell known to repel a lethefold? A lethefold. Um, lethefold. The Patronus is for the... is for the... 
things that are in Azkaban. Um, stunning spell? The stunning spell. Actually, the answer was the Patronus charm. Really? The only known survivor of a Lethifold attack was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? Uh, B -B -B Gamp, Evangeline, Orpington, Levern, de Montmorency. Montmorency. de Montmorency. That's incorrect. The answer I was looking for was Gamp. One of the principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured, though it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? Knowledge is the real magic. Never tickle a sleeping dragon. <laughs> Look before you leap. Uh, knowledge is the knowledge real is the real magic. No, the answer was never tickle a sleeping dragon. In Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Draco, Draco Dormans, Dormans Nunquam no. Titillandus. No. Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? Ooh. The Basilisk, the Ashwinder, the Rune Spore. I'm gonna say the Ashwinder. The Ashwinder. That's incorrect. The correct answer rune was the Rune Spore. Mm. According to Parcel Mouths, each of the Rune Spore's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. Where is Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? Mm. Oh, wow, White Noise. You've been with me for an entire year. Holy crap, my friend. Over a year, been going through serious health complications, but I'm glad I've been able to support your channel. Health complications? What's been going on, White Noise? I see you got the heckin' Bo Beckin uh, uh, channel member Dujank now. Which is uh, which is the one year symbol? Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Mount Greylock. Well done. The American school was founded in the 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? Elixir to induce euphoria, veritaserum, I think it's veritaserum, right? Veritaserum. Incorrect. Oh. The answer was amatentia. Amatentia smells differently to every person according to what they find attractive, such as dusty book covers or... <clears throat> Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? They're my most difficult questions. Not yet. I don't have time for another quiz at the moment. That's fine. Come and find me if you'd like to try later. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Book on intermediate, intermediate Transfiguration. This book is designed to help guide the student who wishes to pursue more complicated types of transfiguration. Professor Weasley often recommends it to her advanced students as a bit of light reading. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Mm, liver issues. Liver is a, a thing. It's a very, it's a very interesting thing. A lot of people don't know that the liver can actually grow back. Apparently, like when they take it and, and transplant it into someone else, it sort of like turns into scar tissue and um, like grows itself back. It's a little strange. I remember reading about it. However, it can't be taken again. Apparently, once it grows back one time, that's that's apparently it. And I don't I don't think it's at its full potency when it grows back that way either, but it's an interesting thing. It's also uh strange I like, heard just Professor in general. Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. <laughs> Hello, I will. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it as I see in all of you 
tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Do I? Do I? Do I? Transformation. Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully, you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to an ex-aura in Upper Hogsfield connected in any way to Professor Fig? I can't begin to imagine what that was about. Uh, yes. Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in, uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Well, that's interesting. I turned him into a barrel. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. La -la. I remember our meat mentioning something about gobbledygook. Bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. 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 Meat, where are you, Amit? Good lord, are you halfway across the castle? How nice to see you, my young friend. Don't 
Hold. Holy crap. I'm starting to get winded just running to this guy. Oh, yeah, I mean, Brian, I don't really care. I, I don't, that's not uh, why I play games. I don't play games for them reasons. I tell people all the time, politics, religion, and ridiculously sensitive topics have no place here on this channel. They do not exist here, as far as I'm concerned. It's the quickest way for you to get banned, actually. To start talking about either one of those three things. What am I doing? Yes, am I doing? Going to the map for years. Waiting till night time, because I think I have no choice. And it's getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. I have played the entire Octopath Traveler. I have some Traveler. promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Why can I not find a meet and why is he not here? I just saw him say hello there. Was he like... Is he down here instead of up there? Or like, what is going on? I don't understand. Um, no, but I did a full playthrough of Octopath Traveler a long time ago. I cannot talk to a meat. Okay, let's try this. Let's save it. Well, sometimes this happens. Let's just save it. And then let's load it. Sometimes that'll fix it. Um... I even did the secret end boss at the Octopath Traveler. It was a really fun game. I played with my nephew, Mark, and um, we had a lot of fun Hello playing there. together for quite some time until we were able to finally beat it. Hello, Almeet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple key terms first. So I will meet you there. It's all gobbledygook. Yep, yep, what yet yep, what yet yep, what yet yep, what yet yep, what what yep, what what yet yep, what what yet yep, what yet yep, what yet yep, what yet what yet yep, what yet yep, what yet yep, what yet yep, what yet I'm not really sure I have the time, Mewtwo. It seems like time is the one thing I have the least of these days. I would like to play Metroid Prime that just came out also when I already started on this game. And then Ladder Season 3 is coming up very soon here. And Ladder Season 3 is going to take up the majority of my time. Um, Incendio. <laughs> it's, I just I don't think I've got the time for anything really right now. I know I'm not in trial when I see one. I wish I did. And I know Octopath Traveler is a lot longer lived here, of a game than um, than it would otherwise seem. It's, it's, it's a no, many, many hour, 
many, many houred game. Capricornus. Okay, well, I don't know why I did that, but whatever. Octopath took me a long time to beat. I did not play it on stream because at that particular time I wasn't a YouTuber. Um, it was a very fun game though, and uh, and I kind of wish that I had streamed it because it was it was a very um, I don't know classic like retro style RPG, and I had a lot of fun playing. Revelio. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthbot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. The oh, Keepers. Castle. That is where we began the our keepers. search. The Keepers. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, am um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the hey. eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Um, they never sent me the throat culture results. Makes me kind of angry. And also, uh... <laughs> also, yeah. I mean, not going to 99 would save a lot of time. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. Um, my throat's still killing me, soon. though. I still cough like crazy all the time. Hacking up frickin' red loogies and death. Red loogies and death, my friend. 
hear my girlfriend in there just yelling at the dog. Just like, watch out, butthole. Shit bird. Is much more enjoyable with Back up, shit bird. I'm the one that came up with that name, too. Oh, man. I'm hoping... <laughs> I get better too. <laughs> it's like weird. It sneaks up on me every now and then. I'll I'll go to talk and it's like it's instantaneous pain, and I just start coughing. Oh man, I hate when that happens. Thor is looking at us. Alright, we need to enter the gobbledygook mine. Oh, it's one of those things, like on Mystery Men. I don't know if you guys ever watched Mystery Men. Mystery Men's a great movie, by the way. Rebellion. If you guys have never seen Mystery Men, I would 100% recommend that you watch Mystery Men, because it's absolutely a great, hilarious movie. And um, in Mystery Men, there was a guy. The guy um, believed that he could turn invisible. However, um, he could only turn invisible when no one was looking. And it's obviously this was not very useful, but he could actually indeed turn invisible when no one was looking. So when they get to this certain part of the movie, there's a doorway that literally kills anyone that comes up to it. And come to find out that his power actually does have a use. Because when presented with a electronic eye, it doesn't count as him getting looked at. So as long as no one is looking at him, he can turn right. invisible. Don't wish to be seen. However, electronic devices didn't count. So he was able to sneak up on the doorway, and he was able to open the doorway for them to turn off the, the death device. Um, however, also, when he goes invisible, his clothes fall off, uh, and he turns naked. So, as soon as they turn back around, and he had, you know, successfully disabled the door, he was naked. And they're like, <laughs> they're like, he's like, yay, I did it! And they, they're like, yeah, they you did it, now put some reality. clothes on. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. <laughs> I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. I still can't believe we're inside a real... Oh, hello, little mousy. It's a conveyor belt. I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Akio! I'll meet you, you'll need to stay close to me. I've dealt with worse enemies than these. Incendio. Red Rock is sure to appreciate the extra work 
we're doing. Descender! You can't stop us. That was a little more than I'm used to. I'll get us through here safely, Armit. You have my word. Yeah, don't worry about it. Rebellion. You've got my word, a meat. Being watched by a door. Akio. Clever. Time for some more mystery, man. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. A schematic? I will get to the bottom of what they've been doing here. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to the Oddgod empty-headed. What's going on, Ed? My throat, my throat, my throat is on fire. Gotta sing some songs cause I ain't got no water. Put out my throat with some fire and some water. Don't need no water cause I ain't got no water. More complex than I had expected. Revelio. Uh. Uh. 
Hmm. Incendio. Accio. Revelio. Accio. And Don Divorso. <laughs> Revelio Small Vivarium decorations. Wiggenveld potions. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Not this way. Akia, the Guardian Leviosa. Depulsa. That was not what I wanted to happen at all. Akia, the Guardian Leviosa. That didn't work. Akio. So much moon, so I don't even know what to do with all of it. And every time I see more, I always collect it, but like, <coughs> I don't need to collect it anymore. I really don't. We'll reclaim what is rightfully ours. Where did they go? I'm quite good at sneaking about. You'll see. Defender, the pulse 
This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgot what we found. Giant drills to reach the ancient magic, right? Akio. Reach the ancient magic. I need magic. a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Why is my character Potato. stuck he's looking at the freaking wall all weird like? He's like, he's literally just staring at the freaking wall. That's right, I said frickin'. He's staring at the frickin' wall. Stupid frickin' staring at the frickin' stupid frickin' wall. Freakin' frackin' frickin' frackin'. We're almost out of here, Armit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Come on. I'll leave your ass up there. I don't care. Um, 
Can we please... That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Armit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Hmm, <coughs> okay. Without further ado, Hachu. Hachu. What? Hachu? The ham biscuit. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So I was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she'd been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it. But I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock. Transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. I tell you all of this, so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals. But the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. I missed that entire sappy story. Missed the entire thing. Something about uh, him, which being nice to him and asking him to come sit and do Off stuff together. Adventure, 
And I missed it all. Freaking dog jumping the damn fence trying to get himself freaking killed. Oh, a damn hippogriff. Are you over top of a poacher den? There's a bunch of cages over here. egg quest. That sounds like fun. Some biker. Oh, man. That's my kind of quest. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. Hmm. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. Leg knots and plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Worth. She doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Confringo! Let's 
Incendio. Confringo. I wonder how many they brought to capture. At least ten years. Where are you, Smitey? I thought you were joining us in Borneo. I know you have your hopes about fighting the fighting ring, but the true galleons are in Acromantilus. You wouldn't believe how much Violet and I made a few days ago, not to mention Borneo is not half bad looking at. Anyway, we will be moving on soon. Egypt, perhaps. It's such a relief not to be weighed down anymore. See you, Angus. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. And he's dead, too. From a distance. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. What would you need love sheep? How oh, lucky for us. Sheep. Watch your step. I don't want to be a sheep. I don't want to get eaten. Or oh, just raring for a fight. Golden snitch scarf. She listened to reason. Bridge here broken. Probably because she broke them. Repair her. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Sneeze. Better nose. Better. Better nose. Better nose. The nose has been presented. Better. Well, we didn't get eaten. What do you know? I'm surprised. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Hmm. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. 
Never think about dragons again. I'm not ready to leave. I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. I'm ready when I'm... Rebellion. Hmm. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I ran through there so fast. I was like, you know what, boy? <laughs> Fast as fuck, boy. That's what I was doing. I ain't stopped for nothing. I was going fast, 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 fast. I just went with what they chose for me, uh, Forrest. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna force it. I answered the questions, and I ended up with Hufflepuff. I like my Hufflepuff robe too. It's pretty sweet. This is my this is my uh, house chest Hufflepuff robe. It's actually really awesome looking, and in the dark it kind of glows. It's pretty sweet. And Rebellion. Yeah, the dash is a, a talent upgrade that you get pretty relatively quickly. Um, you got to spend a point on it, but basically it just makes it so that your dodge turns into a, um, a dash if you hold down the button. And, uh, yeah, it's really powerful. Revelio. Wait here. I'll run ahead. I'll draw her attention. Follow when it's safe. Uh, I seem to have accidentally triggered a different part of the quest. By going backwards. I think that's pretty much it. Let's get out of here. I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in. No. I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. Yeah, send an owl. What are you sending an owl? How could I have been so blind? Hmm. About what? Hogsmeade, here I come. I guess let's go do the Sebastian quest. I don't think it's an attack. It's really just a like a fancy dodge. Get you all the room you need. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Yeah, balloons. Any who oppose Renrock 
will be eliminated. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. You're here. Good. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Sebastian, that relic you mentioned... I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. Oh man, he keeps saying catacomb. I need to see her. He keeps saying catacomb. Why does he keep saying catacomb? If it's in this catacomb... I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. There's Perfect. Not, there's not two O's. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. 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 It's not catacomb. It's... Catacomb. It's... Why are you saying it like it has two O's? It's bothering my soul. It is not catacomb. It is catacomb. Oh my god. We're gonna coom the desert. That's right. We're gonna coom sure it. that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. <laughs> At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Akio! Opening all of these is tempting. Akio! We're here for a reason. I'd say Rebellion's room is taller than it looks. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Whooper statue. No soul. <laughs> Little did you know, I've stolen my fair share. Watch your step. As I many need souls there. as I need. As many souls as I want. <laughs> All the souls are my souls. Incendio. 
all this grass. It no longer feels like a tomb. I bought a I've new one for two dollars on it. Oh my god! Here we go with the catacombs again. Get them catacombs. I'm get them catacombs. Them catacombs. 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 Everybody wants some catacombs. Who doesn't want some catacombs? Everybody get them catacombs. I might make them catacombs. Blah blah. Is catacomb not catacomb? Why are we cooming? Why are we? Why are we cooming the beach? Why are, why are we cooming it? The ham slow uh curious silver spectacles. Those are very curious indeed. And right. then we're abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. I need to know what's going on right meow. Okay. Incendi. Right meow. Right meow. If you guys don't let me know what's going on right meow, I'm going to leave right meow. Right, right meow. I'm out. Right meow. Y'all let me know. Now this is the sort of great right room meow. I want to be buried in. Meow. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Accio. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Oh. There's something here by the altar. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Bone. You put the bones on the bones, and you put the bones down, and you put the bones on the bones. And when you're done putting all the bones on the bones, and you put the bones and the bones. Bones, 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 bones everywhere. Put the bones. Look at all the dead people. It's a lot of bones. Are these fake bones, or are they real bones? Like, are these... I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it where it lay. But research must come before my fealty to the rules. I sense something about this relic. I was told that those chosen by English oak wands have powerful intuition, I believe it. Therefore, when no one was looking, I acted. I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors, forgive me, but I used their very bones as the key. I plan to return to it, but first I must ready myself for our next assignment. Learning the Imperious Curse. The spell is said to serve well against enemies. What did you find? Hmm. I coomed the area and I found a note. I coomed. I coomed the area, my friend. We're in the tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Oh my god, even saying it hurts. It hurts just to even say it. Like, it really does. It makes me, it makes me, like, inside. Like, I feel like a, like a secret revulsion. It makes me revolt. Deep within my soul. In my father's soul, in my mother's soul, in my ancestor's soul, in my dog's soul, in my... Cat soul and my chinchilla soul. And my grandfather's soul. And my grandmother's soul. <laughs> Why are you so rude? Fine, I'll talk to him. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. Bones. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. 
I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperius curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Nope. I prefer not to learn the Imperio curse. I don't think learning the Imperius curse is a good idea. Really? But we've no idea what may lie ahead. But I shan't press you. I'll have your back no matter what we face in there. Here we go. I refuse. Something troubling ahead. I refuse. Rocks fell on your head and everything. You're having a bad day. Another barricade. Considering how well the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. Akio. That worked. Keep going. Defender. Defender. Glaciers. I'm not sure where the last one is. Maybe it's not this way. Depulsa. Incendio. Confringo. Confringo. Stupid. Confringo. Incendio. Incendio. Stupid. Incendio. 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 
A mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Incendio. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Yeah, this catacomb. The comb of the cat. It's mm -hmm. definitely what this is. Not a catacomb, but a catacomb. I'm never going to give it up. Never. I'm never going to give it up. I'm never going to let it down. Because it's not a catacomb. There's not two O's, and that's not how you say it. And even Google agrees it's catacomb. We don't comb the beach. We comb the beach. And I don't know why they say it so terribly. They make me cry. Oh, yes, they do. And I have a tear right here. Never gonna give it up, never gonna let it down. Never gonna turn around and desert you. Cause them catacombs are not catacombs, they're actually catacombs. I think it's a pattern. I think that's what it is. Because <clears throat> every time I do two out of pattern or out of sequence, it resets itself. So, it must be specifically a pattern. So, let's try Oh, look, there's little there's little symbols on the wall and everything. Um which means the pattern is probably drawn or written somewhere. Um, Tetra symbol circle. There we go. That didn't take very much to figure out, did it? You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Send 
Congratulations! Defender! Depulsor! Oh. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Accio! Like contains abundant potential. Its possibilities could benefit not only wizard kind but the world. But the dark sacrifice involved to realize its intent may be too great. Until we know more, please do not remove this relic. Oh wow! Oh, okay. Sebastian, the relic. Look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? Got to sacrifice a life. I have no life. idea. But we're here for the relic. Sure, grab I'm it. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. Cody. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. All right, well, we have the evil relic of sacrifice your life to save your friends. Ominous. Yep, hello, Ominous. We've got the evil relic. It's probably gonna get us all killed. Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Yes. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Mm. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine. But Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Very well, let's talk to Sebastian. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Lead the chinchillas Sebastian, alone. We're ready. You what leaving is it? them alone. I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Back up. I'll punch you in the eye. Back up. I'll beat you up. Get out of here. That's right, I'm talking to you, turd face. Shit bird. Mm-hmm. Turd, turd gobbler. Chinchilla spooker. Cat chaser. How many other names you got? You got lots of other names. I'm, I'll call you all of them. I don't care. I'll tell everybody your whole life story. The dog who's bad. This is a story of a dog who's terrible. Well, who jumps the fence and almost gets hit by a car. I found a compromise. 
Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. Mm. This is the story of a terrible doggy. Never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. Always does the worst thing in the world. Understand. And I did want to worry him all over again. He sneaks around the house and steals everything. And digs in the trash. Oh yes, in the trash. He likes to jump the fence and play in the road and be a bad boy. And he doesn't come back and he runs away instead. And when he's told to be good, he just runs around like a crackhead, like he's high on As drugs leaving, all the time. Even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. Hmm. I don't like the dark arts either, sir. I've refused to learn both of the curses from you, sir. Hey, Pablo coming in with the chonkers. That's the expert chonk. That's the lay chonk, by the way. The la chonk. The chonkiest of boys. Yes, indeed. Extra chonk. Incendio. Oh, I can't fly here. Okay. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. I have not rebooted the game since I started, Smith. Oh, no. This isn't good. Yeah. What is the update what is for? It? Smoke over there by the hamlet. Uh. Uh. Feldkoff's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Yeah, you were telling me about it. I don't know what it is for. I can always re reboot, it, I guess. <laughs> And no! Oh, you gonna get it, don't you? Don't you do it! Get him! What have you done? 
saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. It may have been the wrong choice. There was little time to react, but it was an unforgivable curse. I acted in the moment. That's all. I shall make my uncle see reason. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. I mean, he could have cast any number of curses to, you know, arrest that situation. It didn't have to be that specific curse. He could have cast uh, Levioso. He could have cast, you know, Dipulso. Um, he could have cast freaking... Um, you know, uh, it's just like any number of curses. He could have, he probably could have gotten away with, uh, with Accio. He probably could have gotten away with Glacius, you know, Arresto Momentum, like, uh, freaking Confringo, Expelliarmus. Like, there was a hundred curses that he probably could have used, or hundred, hundred spells he probably could have used in that situation. Why specifically did he have to choose an unforgivable curse? Like, I don't know why. I, I, I'm starting to think that Sebastian is leaning toward the dark side, and there's nothing I can what do about it. What was he it. thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian saved his sister. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Oh, Sebastian am, huh? is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. I don't even know any of those spells. Why, Sebastian? Well, well, Sebastian. Just getting worse and worse. And now you're banned from Feldcroft and your, your sister. Mm, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. <coughs> I don't know about Sebastian. I feel like this, um, this. I feel like this thing that we recovered, judging by the look of it, this is just my theory, okay? This is my theory. My theory is you have to sacrifice your life to reverse a curse. Either your life or the life of someone else. And um, Sebastian, as good-mannered uh, and, and, I mean, good-intentioned as he is... I'm not entirely sure he's going to be willing to sacrifice his own life to get the job done. But that's what I think is going to happen. The relic probably requires you to sacrifice your life to reverse the curse on someone else. Which means that Sebastian is likely going to die. Um, either that or Sebastian is going to turn to an even darker side than I thought. Which is basically that he's going to sacrifice someone else to save Anne. Maybe even his adopted father or whatever is going on is I think what is that his uncle he might sacrifice his uncle to save Anne or something of that nature I'm not entirely sure 
But I'm fairly certain it's nothing good. Let me say that much. I mean, he very well could be trying to sacrifice me. I don't know. Maybe I'll have that choice. Maybe I can sacrifice myself for Ant. Somehow, I just don't think it's going to end up well. It's going to end up good. and I don't think it is. It's going to end up bad no matter what. I don't... I have no clue where the hell I'm going. I'm just going to, like, freaking... Just, just, let's just fly. A thousand meters this way. I wasn't even in the castle. I thought it was in the castle. Hey, 75 likes on my video. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I think we've maintained a Abandoned long ago, no pretty doubt. steady, like, 20 to 30 viewers all day long on this as well, which is pretty surprising, considering I know that uh, it's not Diablo, and I run a channel that does a lot of Diablo videos, but I'm still putting out some steady Diablo content. I'm, I'm freaking, I never stop, do I? Even when I was sick, I still had plenty of Diablo videos up for you guys every single day. And uh, we only really have, what, five days or le actually less than five days. So, like, what? I, you know, let's just say five days. We have five days until ladder starts. I'm going to have to start preparing. I need to get some characters deleted so I have some room for new ladder characters. Uh, patch is coming on... The patch is coming on... What is it? Uh, the 15th? So we might be able to test out the martial arts sin on the 15th. That'll be something fun that we can do. Um, I have a guy who's good at, like, pulling stuff from the files. My sincerest gratitude, you brave soul. Yeah, character delete is. But that's okay. I actually have a martial arts assassin right now on non-ladder. Who's probably going to get deleted for this. Um, mainly just because, well, I mean, if I'm going to have... If I'm going to build a new martial arts assassin in ladder, I might as well get rid of the old one. I thought my owl might pique your interest. Stop. Stop. Why are you always so bad? Sit down on your blanket over there. Sit down on your blanket and stop being bad. For five minutes. Five minutes. I'll put it on the timer. Cody was good for five minutes, and we'll do an achievement. And then the next one will be Cody was good for 30 minutes, and we'll do another achievement. And every time you get an achievement, you'll unlock a bone. And every time you get a bone, you get a new achievement. And you got to keep going, and you got to keep being a good boy. You want some achievements? Hmm? Go sit down for five minutes. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. <laughs> this is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it. The way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? Um, burr, burr, we can deal with We blows. need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. <laughs> I have a feeling VR goggles wouldn't fool him very well. Dogs are so there they are up ahead. So scent orientated that I feel like they would not no be fooled. They would not Kill be fooled by that's embarrassing, isn't it? Sendo. 
Fight, fight for the right. Incendio. Confringo. Rebellion. All of Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Fangs mm, level three. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. Perhaps we can find an alternate route up ahead. Sneaking around has its appeal. Ah, mm. wouldn't mind a plum job at Gringotts. Suit me sitting around all day. Mind you, I suppose it could get a bit boring. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. Mm. Mm -hmm. Revelio. Bunch of little chests all over the place. I'm kinda the the loot that they give you in this game is a little strange. Like I gotta I gotta feel like the loot is a little strange. Like it's mainly just clothing, right? And it's and then they give you the occasional little bit of, like, money. And then now that we finally got into it, they're giving us, like, stuff for our clothing. But, like, it's I still mainly you. just, Rumor like, clothing and money and money and clothing and clothing and money and money and clothing. Like, it's, nice. like, it's a little, little hyper-focused on That's the, spirit. the clothing. Like, they're so hyper-focused on, like, how, how I'm dressed. It's a little, it's a little disconcerting. What's up, Aka Arcane? How's my day been? It's been pretty good. I've just been playing freaking Hogwarts all day long. Streaming for like eight and a half hours. Girlfriend was at work all day, so. For better or for worse, we're in. All around. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. I don't see any goblins in these webs. 
too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Not your best moment, I fear. <laughs> He got like he got me with a couple really good hits and i don't even know how like some of them i pretty sure i dodged but then he would still get me anyway one of them i like teleported away and he was like right behind me it was crazy Ooh, that was not what i intended to do i thought i could maybe jump across there mm -mm. no sir I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Definitely think there's something here they want. Incendio. Olin candle shelf. That ledge is I mean, the other high. thing that they give you Any a lot ideas? of is like things that you can decorate your house with. So that's like that's like a thing. They're, they're constantly giving you things you can decorate your house with. I'm not really 100% sure. Like, I really think that that's the coolest thing in the world. But it's it's interesting, I suppose. Lumos. Lumos. Glacius. I mean, it's just decorations at the end of the day. Like, if I want to decorate my house a thousand different ways from Sunday, I guess I've got all the options it's no wonder spiders give people available goosebumps. to me. Could be the hairy legs, hey, mellow or sweet the leaves. solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Reparo. Reparo. Hello there, spider. Incendio! Confringo! Levioso! Descendo! Making quick work of them! Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists all prepare the meal. Levioso! Descendo! Descendo! Confringo! Incendio! There's a victory that came none too soon. Oh. Looks like the spiders are killing some of the goblins too, so... Good. Rebellion. Oh, my gear slots are full. 
My gear slots are full. Oh no. Get rid of all the green and the blue stuff. Anything that's not potentially better than what I already have on. And check overcoat. Oh, why did I read that that way? It's check crimson overcoat, not crimson. Brown palmette scarf. that spider from existence. That was beautiful. That was poetry in motion. Who doesn't like seeing spiders get killed? Still not seen a single room. Evil little spiders. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. You know, it's Why funny. Am I not surprised? Whenever I see a spider in the house, I always just pick him up and carry him outside. It's the easiest thing in the world. You just grab a cup or something and you just catch him in the cup and you just throw him outside, but... Like, um... Like the ones in the webs and whatnot, like, I usually just let them be. For the most part, when in spiders, like, real-life spiders, you know, obviously not big giant spiders that could eat your face. Um, but with real spiders, like, you literally just leave them alone and let them do their thing. Like, they don't care about you. They're, they're looking for bugs. They're looking for... They're looking for a tasty snack. Cockroaches, flies, gnats, all the stuff we hate anyway. Mosquitoes, all of it. Like, they want to eat all them things. And you know what? Just more power to them. So go ahead. You eat all those evil bugs that I hate. I don't want any spiders. That's, uh, I mean, I don't want any cockroaches. That's one of the things people don't realize. Like, spiders? Spiders will keep cockroaches out of your house. Like, they will eat cockroaches, and they will continually eat cockroaches. Especially the hunter spiders, which are the ones that I think probably scare the crap out of people the most like there's a lot of different kinds of spiders out there there's obviously there's like your orb weavers and your ones that make webs and there's also trapdoor spiders that hide under the ground and there's uh the hunter spiders the hunter spiders are the ones i think you see the most those are the ones that actually crawl around and hunt um unlike a lot of other spiders that make webs and wait the hunter spiders like the, the like the wolf spider and the, the common grass spider and things like that. They basically, they, they roam around and they actually hunt for things like cockroaches and, and beetles and bugs and all that kind of stuff. And their their whole job in life is just to get, you know, tons and tons of bugs in their belly. Because they like putting bugs in their belly. Those guys, I think, are the ones that end up getting the biggest bad rap because they're always running around looking. They're always running around hunting. Whereas the rest of them are fairly stationary and you don't really see them very much except for, you know, like up on the wall or, or you know, in a corner somewhere or by a light post, you know, or something like that. They're very stationary. But those hunter ones, man, those hunter ones, those are just the ones that roam around all over the place and are constantly in and out of th places where they shouldn't be. But those are also the ones that do a very good job of taking care of, like, small crawling insects like beetles and and cockroaches and things like that. And they're, they're, they're very good at it. You will regret coming here. Ranrock will lead us to victory!
<laughs> we're not finished yet. It's almost as if they were waiting. Good for you. Incendio. Let me also. Good for you. So Revelio, instead, you're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. Ah, there's that Hufflepuff lord. Accio, Guardian Leviosa. Hufflepuff loyalty. Of those, uh, we can have a look around in peace. Rebellion. Okay, there's several of them. I see. I'm gonna have to free them from the, from the from the Incendium. little webs of doom over here. Loyalists never knew to look for it. The world floated back to me as if in a watery haze. How long had I been unconscious? I only remember his eyes, empty, empties of sorrow. Yes, but also, I recall feeling a sense of euphoria as I watched the pain vanish, but then everything started to turn. When I fell, I must have hit my head, and I, I neither feel nor see a mark but the pain is throbbing i can only hope it is not the black death at least he is no longer pain in pain what do you have there a journal entry by isadora hopefully it will help us unravel more of this rebellion sebastian i think i found something a canvas piece Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see. Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to hold Revelio. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. I saw one when I was down here. I'm like 99,000% sure. It's like right here. Yeah, here it is.
Calvin Angle. He tried downloading my files and he can't figure now out the moments of truth. what to do with them. It has to fit. You downloaded it, but can't figure out what to do with it. Now, like, where to open it or how to extract the files. Um, I mean, it's pretty simple, my friend. It's a RAR file, or an a, a, a archive. So what you're going to do is you're going to use either one of two different programs to extract the, the pack. Um, and that is basically 7-Zip or WinRAR. I've have heard that some people have had a little bit more luck with 7-Zip than WinRAR. Um, however, if you open up my item pack, um, once you have it extracted, uh, you will have a huge directory of files that you can go through. Uh, let me give you a, a peek into what that looks like. Um, pardon you guys and gals out there, this is going to be very bright. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Here we go. Um, this is what it looks like once you have it extracted. This is where all the files are. Um, the original hero editor is right here. You can set that up. That's in the uh, that's the setup.exe right there. And then uh, I also have some character files. So these right here are actually character files. You don't have to do any editing with those. You can just copy those in. Um, the Sunder Charms are on a character right here. This is specifically the Sunder Charms if you'd like to use those. Uh, I also have socketed whites and bases for the hero editor program. This is the sets uh, ethereal for the hero editor program. These are cheated, by the way. These are the regular sets. Um, these are all the rune words. And uh, these are old patch items from pre, you know, like 1.11, 1.08, things like that. Um, I also have mock rune words for, uh, for use if you want to take a look at them. And, um, I mean, basically there's everything in here that you need. Uh, to play around and have fun with stuff. This is, um, my item pack is, is pretty well finished uh, for the most part. I mean, there's some items here and there that I can add. The, the new rune words will be added as soon as I have a chance, um, probably on the 15th. Uh, that's probably when I'll add them. And, uh, and I, I, I we love, we love you. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we love, we love you. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A goblin named Logdok. A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know, goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? You're not thinking straight. You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. Incendio. Descendo. Levioso. Confringo. Confringo. Bonk. Incendio. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I appreciate you setting our earlier discussion aside for now. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. If he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form. 
and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. Hmm. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. Let's go to the map chamber. Ah, there's so much going on. So many quests. So much going on. So many quests. Can't keep it straight. Oh, my dear lord. There's a monsters everywhere. Goblins in my hair. Oh, my god, you see. The goblins everywhere. There's goblins in my Welcome hair. Back. And I can't do anything. Because the goblins are on the, th on the swing. Revelio. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Yeah, have a look at the map. The next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. <coughs> well... How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Hmm. Handy resource indeed, your field. Professor Fig. Oh, well, if we're going to Professor Fig's office, then I can just teleport there. Can't remember which. Uh, there you go. Fig. Track undiscovered flu flames to unlock permanent fast travel locations and shorten the time in travel. Mr. Fig, I need your help to locate things that are the whelps. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade. Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle, and... I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. 
so you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing, a polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Ah, oh, here we go. Apologies pushing. <laughs> Hopefully you brooded it correctly and I don't turn into a cat. <laughs> hmm. How do you feel? Not, not a cat. Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. <laughs> Professor Black. Professor Black. No running in the halls. Start randomly being mean to people. No running in the halls. You're fired. Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I will decide what's I there. assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. <laughs> you call that a shine on those boots? Do better! What could the headmaster want? Run! Oh, it's Christmas. Look at all the little Christmas trees. I like <clears> it. I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment. Professor Black, how are you, sir? Greetings! Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes! Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, moustache paste. Yes, moustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Something is very wrong with Professor Black. Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they're fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... 
You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Please do. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Yes, good day. Good day, what Madam Kagawa. Him, Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Oh no, it's the headmaster and he's coming this way. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible. I mean, I've seen them about. I mean, yes, sir. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Something seems a little off with the headmaster. He's not quite as rude when as he I normally is. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Professor, I oh need to Oh my gosh. You. Go Hello, away. Professor ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Mm. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumours of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never... That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing. Wait until Master sees what old... Scroop! Oh, oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scroop swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. That changed my mind. And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scroop begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pure. Ha! Ah, thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Uh. 
Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. <clears throat> Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Now to speak the password to oh, the gargoyle. Yes, always. I'm always on adventures. Adventures just for me. Because we will go on adventures. Adventures every week. Don't tell me what to do. I like to go with you. Adventures everywhere. It's what we like to do. I don't know which one the... Um, I don't know which one his office is in. Beast Classroom, Hogwarts North, Divination Classroom, Potions Classroom, Ravenclaw Tower, Trophy Room. I really don't know. Huh. The grand staircase? Okay, I guess I just need to go up the staircase. Um... I guess it's at the top of the grand staircase. Man, having the stairs appear underneath your feet like that is a little disconcerting. I mean, you're literally running and the, and the stairs are literally appearing underneath your feet as you run. It's... <laughs> yes. Uh, did I solve the puzzle on the bridge? Yes, it was pretty easy. The uh, the solution to the puzzle lock reaper is written on you the floor. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. <coughs> Revelio. Yeah. Basically for that puzzle you just need to light all the um light all the torches. And then on the floor is a little panel that's written with the Roman numerals pointing to each symbol. And then you light the you line the symbols up to each one of the um torches so that it matches. And once you've done that you've you, you solved it. There's a little thing opens up and you go down there and you can collect some some doojinks. I think that's the one you're talking about, anyway. Revelio. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Staircase that leads to the headmaster's office is guarded by an enchanted gargoyle that will only let those who know the password enter. Though anyone choosing to visit, the current occupant of the office is difficult to fathom. Lumos. Um. Frickin' pentagram. Capulso! Accio! Glacius! Revelio! Levioso! Descendo, maybe, or maybe Flipendo? Flipendo! Descendo! Um. Arresto Momentum! Hmm. 
Not really quite sure about this one. Rebellion. Um, let me see if I can find this guy real quick. There should be a moth around here somewhere. There it is. Lumos. The moth should be within vision of these things. I don't Lumos. know where, but I guess if I just run through here, I'll probably end up finding Revelio. it. There he is. I see him. Lumos. Alright, let's take him upstairs. We have almost completed all of these, like, ones with the, the little moth mirrors. I haven't found very more, many more of them left. Some of them are behind locked doors, so there's really not much I can do about those, but... Toujours pure. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Probably. Rebellion. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Very well. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Darby's grandma. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Receipt, hair tonic, mustache wax, bundinum pomade, comb, pearl handled, back scratcher, gold handled, doxy side, Paid in very small part, a remainder to be built to ministry. He seems very vain. That must be the pedestal. And worried about his appearance more, more than anything, which is a little disconcerting. He's definitely no Dumbledore, that's for sure. He certainly is not a Dumbledore. Dumble boar is more like it to ha <laughs> Yes, Blades of Ice should be coming out tomorrow, I believe. Um along with Where am I? my double sting. Professor Fitzgerald video. Can you hear me? Should be tomorrow at eight. In this place, you may call me leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Scene. Oh, I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. I'd 
best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. I need to time this just right. straight ahead. Death wants my butt cheeks. Death's trying to clap them. I can't let Death clap my Ladder. butt cheeks now. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. <laughs> oh yeah, there's so many Annie's floating around. Lock Reaper, I wouldn't even... Wouldn't even worry about it. Like, somebody still needs an Annie at this point. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, They're gone for now. I mean, I'll hand I you one get for out free. Of yeah. Where could I got be? several nice ones. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Mm, you throw me in a stealth mission. That's though. where I need to go, but... I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way, no danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. I like the drawn, sort of like graphite pencil style. It's a very, uh, it's a very interesting style um, to make a game in. I really, I actually really like this. I could see a whole game. I could see a whole game made of this style. And uh, totally just got caught because I was paying attention to the art style instead of the game itself. And it's very, it's very pretty, like just visually. And um, I've, I've always been a big fan of. Close of this particular style, no way but forward, I suppose. like drawing, thatching. That looks like the only I've actually done forward. a lot of, uh, I've done a lot of drawing myself in this in styles just like this, you know, shading and and thatching and cross thatching and uh, and you know just like in general trying to get the the like the how a image looks on paper, just quite right. Seems like I need to go that way, but he is staring into my soul Now's over my here. chance. All right, let's go, 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 go. Og, 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 og. No, no, no! That's the way forward. I think I'm invisible. I've got the Deathly Hallows cloak. Why are we, uh. Why they can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. The Deathly Hallows cloak is, uh. 
is an amazing cloak. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? You have had one death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. The Elder Wand. <coughs> I've got the Elder Wand now, boys. Yes. <laughs> I've never felt such power. Unlimited power. <laughs> Rebellion. If there is anything hidden in here, like I haven't seen anything hidden in here yet. Ain't drop me nothing. I mean, she gave me the cloak before she gave me the wand, Charles. So I don't know. Maybe I already have the stone. I don't know. Apparently I have two of the Deathly Hollows right now. Bombarder. 
Bombarda. Defender. Bombarda. Defender. Bombarda. Defender. Protector. Stupid one. Bombarda. Defender. Ah. Bombarda. Defender. Bombarda. Stupid one. To Pulsar. Bombarda. Defender. Bombarda. Defender. Defender. Bombarda. Defender. Bombarda. So many trolls. So many trolls. There's all the trolls in the world. There's all the trolls in the world. And oh my goodness, grief is just so many freaking trolls. I don't like all the trolls. So many trolls. I just want to do the thing and not have the trolls. I was wondering if I could change my spells, and it seems like I can't. So those, I'm stuck with those spells, which is sad because uh, they're not like I. I kind of I would choose something maybe a little bit different. I think I kept trying to change them in the middle of combat, and uh, I couldn't. I couldn't change them, and it was pissing me off. Bombarda. Defender. Oh, I freaking hit the button too. And I hit the button again and it didn't freaking do anything. Oh, he got me anyway? I freaking dodged and he got me anyway. This fight is a little painful. Like, the, the troll is, is fine to deal with on his own, but, like, it, there's, like, a never-ending sea of the other guys that is coming, and I can one-shot them. Like, for the most part, but it, it's a little difficult to dodge the troll and them at the same time. Especially when they just never stop coming. And I feel like you're not supposed to focus on them, you're supposed to just focus on the troll, but it seems really difficult to just focus on the troll. Bombarda. 
Oh, come on, I literally pressed the button. If I can regenerate before they spawn. the end of me again. Dude, this fight is rough. <clears throat> Come on. Get some water. Hmm. I mean, I think I know what they want me to do here and how to beat this fight, but it's just, it's rough. It basically it involves me utilizing the stupefy curse a lot, um, which I guess is what they want you to do. Uh, but the other problem is is that you can't just use protege to um, or pro pro protogeo. You can't just use that spell to defend yourself. You've got to also dodge occasionally. So like it's a. It's a constant struggle between, like, do I dodge or do I protect myself? Like, I could just run around like this, and you just wait until they attack you. And then once you once they attack you, you figure out whether or not it's a stupefy spell. And you use that to kill my boy here. Um, however, there's so many spells that can't be dodged in that way that it makes it very difficult. 
Oh, come on. That was the one that you couldn't... The only reason I stayed there was because I know you could stupefy that curse. Oh, come on. I freaking hit the button. It didn't kill me, I guess. So there's that. Alright, so I have a chance to regenerate some of my health here. Oh my god. I did it, finally. Is that it? Do I need to do more? Are you not entertained? <clears throat> Is this the third one? Is this the one that brings people back to life? Give me the Deathly Hallows, yes. A simple stone. This must be for me. Yep, this is the third one. The third of the Deathly Hallows. Be 
Beetle the Bard. You're far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. Nothing is what it seems. She's gone. Neve's dead. Oh, poor Neve. Gone so young. <laughs> Neve, why? We won't be the same without her. What's up, Death? How's it going? I beat you once already. Come on back and let's fight again. Now use the stone and resurrect her. You found me. But you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow, as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Mm. Cry, statue, cry. Mwah. I'll stick your face in there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see the memory of the past, the one that tells us the truth. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, well, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Oh, Neev, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. So, this is what I could gathered from this so far. She's pulling these painful bits from people and storing them away in Goblin Silver. The containers for which are the things that Ranrock is trying to find. So Ranrock is finding the things that she made. She, she hired this goblin to make these containers. And then inside the containers is stored the pain and the anguish of all the people that she pulled out of. So basically, like, whatever she did, they're trying to find all of the, the remnants of what she pulled out of people. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? Yes. It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed, 
Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. That was disturbing. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did <clears throat> she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Fire whiskey. The whiskey of fire. Hmm, so we've got the four keepers. We completed her trial. I should talk to Poppy and find out why she left so abruptly after we returned the dragon egg. Purchase the broom upgrade. Ooh, the broom upgrade's available. Hell to the yeah, to the yo, to the ye. Hell to the ho, to the may, to the we. Going down to hogs, me, we, we. Gonna do that, then I gonna hey, hey. Gonna get a gun, don't upgrade, hey. Upgrade, upgrade. Gonna get an upgrade, up, up, upgrade. Gonna get an upgrade, upgrade. An upgrade. 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 Gonna get an up up upgrade. Upgrade. Oh yeah. Gotta get a ding upgrade. Upgrade. Oh yeah. As before, I'll raise the special price on the broom upgrade for you. Ooh, four thousand. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Four oh, thousand. Holy crap, give me that give me that big old new drink. Oh man, a lot of this stuff is better than what I got on. Have to go to the shop and uh do some upgrade lades. Some identification. Identification. And, yes. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinder's infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think.
I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of <laughs> course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. You're so funny. A sweeping success. Perhaps I can test out when you upgrade on the way. <laughs> sweeping success. <laughs> You're so funny, sir. You're so funny. I got a beard hair, a mustache hair that keeps going up my nose. Like, up I don't now? understand. Get out of my nose. Why is it in my nose? I don't know why it's in my nose, but it's in my nose. It's a mean one. In my nose. I really don't like it. I don't know why it wants to be in my nose all the time. It's in my nostril hairs. I don't really want it to be in my nostril hairs, but it doesn't care. Mm. It's a mean one in my nose. It keeps on tickling me. My mustache says I have a right to tickle you because you are on me. All right, so one. I'm uh, I'm trying to. I'm gonna hit these. I'm gonna hit these on the way. That's that's my goal. I'm gonna hit. Uh, I'm gonna hit as many of these little little doojanks as I can on the way. So there's one right there. There's like three of them going up the hill here. So a bunch of them for me to get on the way up. There's a bunch of balloons over here too. This looks intriguing. Why does it keep making me go down? I don't, I don't understand. And then like... And then when I'm trying to frickin' like utilize whatever's making me go down, it's like it's like nah. Now we're not gonna make you go down because you're expecting it. You expected it, and that's nope, nope, nope. Now it's over. It's over. We're not gonna do it anymore. That's what you get for assuming. For assuming. There's one of these landing platforms. You land on them with your broom. That's literally it. Woo! Oh my goodness, this is amazing. It's, it's land, and that's all you do. You just that's it. It's just a landing platform. There's nothing else to it. It's literally just land. Oh dang! There's a freaking whole doojank right here. Okay, is that is that the direction that I need to go? It is the direction I need to go. So it looks like I'm not able to. Uh, Progress through here on the broom. Which means I've got to take the traditional route, which is what? Um, the train? What do you mean I can't dismount here? Let me dismount somewhere, please. Hmm. Um, I feel like I need to go down there. I'm not exactly sure how I get up there at all. There's got to be a pathway. I should investigate. Hmm. An ancient magic. Do jank. Revelio. I don't see the um. 
the stone. That's the stone right there. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. That was all you had to do was throw these things. These things on top of the dojang. Hmm. Need to roll a six. Why not roll a twenty? How about that? Have ran rock to blame. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. I wonder I can't fly through this area. It's a frickin' ran rock castle over here. The wizards will be back here. Incendio. Confringo. Does that answer your question, Baylor? Can indeed throw them off. Foos Rodar. Accio! Ah! 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 
Incendio. Levioso. Ogbert of the Odd. Ogbert the Odd gave me an unidentified head item. Another flu. Indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Well, we definitely found a new zone here. Looks like I can use my broom here. We got some balloons to pop. Of that. There's a flu jank right here. Oh, they let me fly through the window. That's. But then I can't fly while I'm in. Rookwoods don't go down easy. Oh, there it is. It was on the outside anyway. Didn't even need to go in there. Oh, the last balloon, I missed one. So I got them all. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Well, there's a flu. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Tomb of treachery. There's a lot of stuff over here. I didn't even notice that it. Did it tick up when I completed the last balloon? It usually goes, you know, popped balloons and it does like a little counter. I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah. Tomb. No, no, it's a tome. It's it's a tome, not a tomb. Obviously, since since it's catacomb, it must be tome. There's another balloon right there. Oh. Interesting. I missed it. Dang it. Back through. They 
come up to me. Hmm. Found another set of balloons. Get these like things on the outside of my nose. What about you guys? But my nose is a constant source of misery. Oh, it's a landing platform. Nice. Let's get the rest of these doojanks over here. I see one. This job and be done with it. There's another one. An astronomy table. Should prove useful once the sun's down. The astronomy tables are really quick Here's to use. One of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. like the Big Dipper. I am not sure how to make this thing properly. Oh, there we go. Hold on. There we go. That took forever. The Hydra. Okay. Those are, those are like really easy to do. Like so, when I see them, I usually just go grab them real quick. Cause why not? It's another flu thing over here. Inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. How's my Pokemon collection? I've got some Thestrals and some other interesting things. Uh, another one of these things. These things are a little weird because all you really do is just run around and and collect them. Like it's not really like too. Interesting. I'm not really sure what they were thinking with these, other than just like figure it out, like sort of a thing. Like some of them are so simple that it's literally just run around and like click on them. Um, this one seems to be a little bit more convoluted, I guess, because I'm having a hard time finding a way into the building. Which I guess you're supposed to just like jump in there or whatever. I don't know. Looks like you could just get in right here. I mean, a lot of the times you can just fly. Cannot enter while mounted. Let me cheese my way in. Well, there was a door after all. I searched around the whole house, didn't see the door. Brilliant. Incendio! Accio! Oh, there's 
a bunch of vines right there. inside here, however we get in here. If only Professor Fink could have seen that. Now, what was he supposed to see exactly? Are you running around being silly? all over the place. There's a bunch of butterflies around here. Hmm. Well, we ended up doing a lot more here than I expected. Likely this astronomy table will be best used when it's dark. This looks intriguing. It's been ages since I've found anything worth Oh, more balloons over there. Detour to the balloons. To the balloons, detour. Detour to the balloons. We must pop all the balloons because, yes, we can. And there's a landing field over here for our can. We put our butt down upon the landing field we will. And we light all the torches so we have a nice landing platform. I don't think we really need one, but that's okay. What is this? <coughs> I mean, we landed here, so might as well check out and see what's inside the cave. Incendium. Alright, this one was pretty easy. Um, I remember doing this on one of the last Accio. ones. All you gotta do is find the right, right pattern. The pattern is, um... Accio. This one yet. Accio. That was easy enough. Confringo. Cursed fiends. 
Rebellion. Pretty much it for this thing. Let's get out of here. Spider spiders everywhere. Spider spiders in my hair. Spider spiders on the floor. Spider spiders at the door. Spider spiders in the house. Spider spiders ain't the mouse. Spider spiders coming back to get you. Watch out for the spiders. They are everywhere. Watch out for the spiders. They are in your hair. Spiders, spiders, every freaking where. Arachnophobia. Oh, spiders in your hair. Arachnophobia. Spiders everywhere. So many landing platforms. I guess I just land on them. I mean, that's what they want me to do, after all, is just land on them. So many balloons to pop. Popping all the balloons, that is what we do. Gonna pop the balloons just for you. Hey, look at our balloon popping skills. We're amazing. I've never seen something so far out in the middle of nowhere land. There's a troll down there. A castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. Another one of these tables. Sagittarius. That's right, Balloon Installer is gonna have lots to do. He's gonna have lots to work to do now. The Balloon Installer is gonna have lots of work to do. Watch out for the balloons, they're coming for you. Lord, I came a long way for this. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Yeah, because it's literally you're, we're literally out in the middle of the nowhere land. That's why it's deserted. It's Hello, literally the mother. nowhere land. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously, evidently too far for most of our classmates. Yeah, pathetic. It's kind of our They should way. be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. You're I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually... thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. Anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. Uh, we'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. Get ready to lose, Hufflepuff. Hey, a dee da dee da doo 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 dee da dee da doo da doo da dee. Made it. Why are there balloons on the course? This one's a little rougher than some of the others. I'm missing some of the bubbles. There definitely are balloons on the course. I'm not imagining it. I'm not going to try and get the balloons on difficult. my first roll through the freaking course. I, 
feel like that's how you're supposed to get the balloons, though. Is by doing the course, which means I might have to redo the course just for the balloons. Going well. You want to comment every single time we go through a ring? Guess not. I do say so myself. Wow, that was a little tricky. Oh, oh! Mm -hmm. no, we're not getting all the bubbles on that one. Wasn't too difficult. <gasps> that wasn't too bad. Hmm. All right, I think we should go back through it and get the balloons. The balloons. Yeah, I beat your time that again. Was quite something. I beat your time again. 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 My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I beat you time again. It's been fun competing your records, It has been fun. I beat you time again. 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 Glad you're here. Fifth year. Not bad. For a Hufflepuff. You take care of yourself. All right, let's do the race again so that we can um, get, I should let Mr. Weeks know get the balloons. This is the best upgrade yet. We want to get the balloons, right? That's a, that's our goal. Balloon, balloon, getting. Grab the balloons. I don't care about the rest of this stuff. Okay, there's one balloon up here. Well. Leaving the course will abandon. Oh, there's a balloon up there. I don't oh. think I. I don't think I do need to actually be in the course to get these balloons. Oh, Anthony with 999. This is because you're still live. Now I'm going to have to rewatch from where I left off on YouTube. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys can have fun picking up, you know, or you can just hang out with me. Either way, it doesn't matter. I really appreciate the donation, though. Always, always appreciate the support from you guys and gals. I don't deserve it. But I'll take it. Whether I deserve it or not, I'll still take it. Undeserved or deserved, I don't care. Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Give it to me, baby. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like them donations. Yes, I freaking do. Not bad for a Hufflepuff. Oh, she's so mean. She is so mean. Like you I should investigate. You had to have heard her talk to like talk crap to me like over and over and over again. And then finally, when I beat her record, she would still be like, "Eh, not bad." I literally beat her record by like fifty full seconds, and she's still just like, "Eh, I guess you did all right for a Hufflepuff." Like. I'm over here like, I just swooped your record out from underneath you three times in a row. Like, you can just suck it. How about that? How about you suck it? She don't care. I have no clue where these other balloons are. Some of these balloon challenges are a little too crazy. The balloons be hiding up the arsehole. <clears throat> What the hell is that? Why are there just birds just like 
bloating over there. Whoa, 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 Baylor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, she does kind of strike me as a, like a sun, a sundry anime character. You know, like the I hate you, come over here and give me a kiss kind of a characters. They come up. Hmm, there's some balloons over there. Could they really be so far apart from each other? No, this is a different set entirely. Surely. Well, it's one. Two. Three. Yeah, this is a whole different set because it's five balloons per set. That's that's one whole set right there. I don't know where the other balloons were for that other set. They were freaking hiding. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Hiding really good. There's another set over there. One, two, three, four, five. That's all five. So sometimes you can see all five of the balloons, and sometimes like the some of the balloons are just like hidden. In the darkness, I don't even know. It's like really weird. city. It is a random city. Oh. Alright, well, I don't really need to be out here anymore. Frickin' came all the way out to literally bum frick Egypt. Let me get some of these, um, so I don't have to frickin' fly all the way out here again. Let me get some of these flu portal things many of them as I can get before I leave. That way I don't have to come all the way back. I ain't your mom, Baylor? Oh, man. That's terrible. I thought I was your mom. I thought you were going to come visit me on Mother's Day and we were going to have a nice lunch together. Probably some sandwiches, you know, at a local eatery. But, man, if I'm not your mom, then I guess, you know, plans canceled. I guess we're just not going to, we're not going to do that for Mother's Day then. Sad. Sad, Baylor. Had a little basket for you and everything. I had some cookies. I had baked you some cookies. Some fresh, delicious cookies at that. Mom cookies. But no, no, and you don't want any mom cookies, you don't, no. No, no lunch. Can't figure out why there's such a fuss over poaching. <laughs> he said I'm game. Alright, there's another flu over here somewhere. Let's go find this one. I'm gonna get all these little flus. Well, this one's like way down in the darkness over here. All right, well, dang, you're right. way down here, ain't you? Um, can I go in the building? Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, only I'm desperate. Please, won't you help me? And there's a freaking quest in every single one of these too. Like every single one of these I go to, there's another, there's another quest. Um, I think it was one more flu, fire flu. I wanted to get around here somewhere. 
Um, I mean, I could, honestly, I could sit here just collecting these fire flues for ages. No fresh ginger snaps? Oh, no. Sakatumi cookies, my friend. Sakatumi cookies. Let me explain to you the deliciousness of these cookies that my, my grandmother used to make and my mother makes. Uh, these cookies are chocolate chip, of course. Walnut. Chocolate chip walnut. Raisin. Chocolate chip walnut raisin oatmeal. Okay. Oatmeal chocolate chip walnut raisin cookies, and they are absolutely freaking delicious. Like off the chain level delicious. And the texture of them, let me just let me just say that the texture of them is amazing as well. Like not just the flavor of the cookie, but the texture of the cookie is amazing. And they're homemade, of course. Made by the hands of grandmothers. It's weird. It made the, like, symbol like I was popping a balloon, but then it was, it was a little strange. Like, but there was no balloon there. I don't know why it was giving me the symbol that I was dropping and popping a balloon. I didn't actually see a balloon. Oh, yeah. There's two There's two such things that my grandma used to make. The Sakatumi cake. Nice that was, that was really the... Friend. Oh, my God. The Sakatumi cake. Just the thought of it. I haven't had the socket to me cake in a long time. And her delicious oatmeal almond, or oatmeal walnut raisin chocolate chip cookies. Oh, those are delicious too. But it's the socket, you. the socket to me cake now. Oh my god, the socket to me cake was. I can't even explain it. Like it didn't even have icing on it. She just like whipped up some sugar and just like poured it over the top of it, and. uh it was really good. Like, it was really freaking good. I, I don't know how to explain it other than... It, it just... just uh, it, what it had in it, I mean, I know it was... I think it was walnuts and almonds in there, and, like... I think there was some... Uh, God, it's been so long since I've had the Sakatumi cake. Need to get the recipe for it. Make it myself. Probably won't be anywhere near as good, but... Let's grab this one real quick. We've gotten so many of them, we might as well grab more of them. Just thinking about the Sakatumi cake is making me hungry, and we ain't got nothing sweet. This looks intriguing. Oh, a bunch of them burbs. What the hell is going on here? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Revelio. <laughs> Incendio. What did I just find? Hello there. Rebellio. Um. The hell? Confringer. Levioso. Incendio. Accio. I have no idea what I just did over here, or what this place even is. There seems to be a panel here. 
with the footprints of beast a beast on it of some kind. I don't know. I'm not sure what beast that is. I think you need the beast to be able to go through this zone. That's my that's my hunch. My hunch is is you have to have the beast and land on the panel with the particular beast. And I don't know what beast that is, but uh, it's a beast for sure. Got some more jabberdoles. I already have a jabberdole. I mean, I guess I could get another jabberdole, but I don't really want to. <laughs> S mark cookies. <laughs> That's a joke from uh, Evil Dead. He's always like, shop at smart. Shop S smart. Get it? Because it's, it's a, yeah, it's S smart. Shop smart. Shop S smart. Y'all making me hungry as crap. I'm going to go put a pizza on. All right, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go put a pizza on the cooker, and uh, does it get any more cozy and, uh, than and, uh, and uh, yeah, that way I have something to eat here in a minute. Y'all making me starving. I've been streaming for like ten hours. Oh man, I have been streaming for ten and a half hours. I'm pretty close to the cutoff point, which is twelve hours. Might have to cut. Might have to cut it off here soon.
Alright, pizza's on. Shove some food in my face real quick so that I will stop being starving. All the talk of Sakatumi cakes and making me hungry. How's my favorite test flyer? What are we looking for today? I don't know. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to again. Uh, there you go. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that! Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. Mm-hmm. Ah, <sighs> good for Mr. Weeks. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Ah, oh, man, so many frickin' doojanks here. It's like we're going to be talking to Anne. Against orders. Against orders. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. A lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He no. helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Veldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-reference Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. Hmm, this is more complicated than we thought. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice? Seems... risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, well, he could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well, from what I understand. He won't say but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. 
Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Mm. Good luck with Ominous. Mm. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Mm. Look for my owl. See you soon. Mm. Mm. A basis for blackmail. There's so much going on in this world. Everybody's always trying to blackmail people and I don't even know what the hell's going on no more Always blackmail over here blackmail over there and you know what don't even know I don't, I don't even know because it's just, it's just poachers and dragons and freaking Hogsmeade here I come I don't know that's true. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Mm. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Speak with Cody, get down. inside the three broomsticks seems to be Christmas looks like he's upstairs yeah I think he's upstairs um, right here Mrs. Rabe should be nearby Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly, I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Hmm. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, 
But now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Hmm. Mrs. Rabe, we do hope you will reconsider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach the decision on your own, but we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value of in our working together. Shall we expect a response by weekend? Weeks end. Best keep keep this between us if you understand our meaning. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickles are the two friends. Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check. Please tell me you didn't take it. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Mm. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Mr. Bickle. Mr. Bickle. Why does it sound like a name that a teacher would call out in class? Like he's being bad and like he's doing something he's not supposed to and all of a sudden you just, yeah, from the back row, you do something like this. It'd be like, Mr. Bickle! If you would kindly pay attention in class instead of being a horrible twat, Mr. Bickle. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. You refused? You should have spoken out. If you had spoken out against him, as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, 
I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Mm. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. <sighs> There's no online portion as far as I know, Big Tail. It definitely Something seems to be it. like Skyrim. She said she was going to the Hulk if head. Skyrim were Hogwarts, like Harry Potter kind of a thing, like it's it's definitely in the vein of like a Skyrim game. I also feel like there's a little bit of touch of Elden Ring in here too. Like maybe it's because Elden Ring was so popular recently, they decided to incorporate mechanics similar to Elden Rings. But it's, it's very much so like a open world, like Elden Ring slash Skyrim-esque kind of a game. And um, obviously with a Harry Potter twist, uh, more so in line with the Harry Potter movies. Although there's not really a whole lot going on in the, you know, in it that actually has to do with the movies. Like it's it's set in a kind of like a different time period, but it still has the same feel. Natty and must be around here somewhere. Like, like world. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Docks outside Hogshead Inn offer a pleasant surprise to sit and relax if one can do so whilst only a stone's throw from whatever nefarious going-ons may be occurring in a notoriously shady inn. Hey look, it's one of the dojanks that I need. Oh man. And I can't wait here. Well, I have to remember. I'll have to remember that this is here, so... So this is the, uh, inn, or whatever. Can I mark this on the map as a location? Where am I at? Right here? Yeah, let's... I don't know. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Ashwinder hideout. The footprints led to this room. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate there must it. Be way forward. Yeah, as AJ said, 200 years before Harry Potter, so. So no Voldemort yet. Accio. We're we're kind of in school before Voldemort, so. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Revelio. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. If people don't want me to steal their value, they should not be the worst. What? You see that girl this fight? That one's coming for her. We ought to just kill her. Only a whole student. Here alone. Oh. 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 You should never have come in. Victor. Places. Expulsion. Oh. 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 
Also, incendio. Confringo. Incendio. Levioso. Confringo. Accio. Levioso. Incendio. That's just the beginning. Confringo. You're going to regret that. Accio. To your knees. Protego. Uh, uh, the poems that was taken from uh, Atlas Filbert. Uh, Incendio. Uh, Confringo. Uh, Levioso. Uh, Accio. Uh, Incendio. Make it stop. Confringo. Uh, I'm just warming up. Disarm my wand. Let me see. I'm on fire. Accio. Confringo. Oh. Incendio. Oh. 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 Pretty sure my pizza's ready too. Burner, 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 burner. All right, I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna go grab my pizza. I'll be right back. Uh, delicious pizza. Delicious pizza. I need to find her quickly. Lumos. <laughs> I'd better be sure I'm not seen. When we're done here, I'm going straight to the hot heads. Or perhaps I'll just not for the work. Using that girl as bait, that one's coming for her. We ought to just kill her. Only a Hogwarts student would be arrogant enough to come in here alone. I don't trust Ranrock, I'll tell you that. You'll tell when that's the first chance he gets. If you'd listen to me, you wouldn't need to concern yourself with such matters. The Hamlets don't stand a chance against us. Show yourself! <gasps> Protector! 
might want to look up. Take that cover. Rebellion. We should speak to her again. Akia. victory. That he must be here somewhere. You found us. I knew you would realize I over here. The rape. Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed. 
and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Natty was not able to summon my wand. It must be blocked by something. Revelio. I wonder somewhere in this room. I can tell. Mr. Rape's wand could be in there. Rebellion. The wand is supposedly in this room. I don't see anything in this room. Incendio. Incendio. Revelio. Alohomora. Mr. Rape's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. You are as dear to me as an augury whose voice foretells the coming rain. You are as loved by me as a crup could be whose loyalty is true and plain. You have cast a spell over my heart. I want it not undone. You have charmed me from the very start. You have always been the one. Do Dulcibella Filbert. The book of poems <clears throat> that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Revelio.
Revelio. I give it a ten. It's been very fun so far. I'll give it a ten. This is a this is a ten of a game, yeah. It's captivated me. I've been playing for nearly like thirty hours. <laughs> Oh yeah, I feel like there's still so much more to do, too. Even though I've been playing for 30 hours. I feel like I'm nowhere near close to freaking, um, like, finishing this game. Nowhere near close. What's up, j -Loz? I'm trying to stuff some pizza down my face. I am. Yes, herbal voodoo. Snape is the villain. See? I'm glad you agree. Snape is the villain of the story. I don't care what nobody says. Villain. The villain. I'm trying to see if I can find Otto Dibble's love letter. Like, I already know that I've finished this, and I could leave right now if I wanted to. But I'm trying to find that love letter so that I can help out that boy. He basically made it sound like they would end up breaking up if the love letter ever became found. And I'm trying to make sure that doesn't happen, but... I feel like I've searched everywhere. And I still haven't found it, which is unfortunate. Revelio. Unless I'm just not seeing it. Let me just try Revelioing everywhere. Maybe I'll find it eventually. Looks like there's some chests up here I didn't get. Oh, there we go. My darling Otto. I have read your letter over and over, and I am certain to read it again. Each hour until we are able to meet, I dread the notion that I will not see you soon, but I am not without hope. I long for the day that our engagement can be shared with those whom we love, especially my dear father. I do not wonder at your wanting to wait until you are more settled, my love, and I know that you are doing all you can to ensure that such a situation is within your grasp. Please allow me to say that these past months of being unable to share publicly the feelings which exalt me to the utmost pinnacle of happiness have been an ex existential challenge indeed. And now I am off to read your letter once more. Yours affectionately, Rose. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it.
Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. Yeah. We shall speak soon. I feel a lot better now. Ooh, I feel a lot better. All right, got some food in me. Well, that one's done. We got less than an hour. After 12 hours, it stops recording data, so I have to end the stream before it hits 12 hours. Can't believe I've been streaming for 12 hours, but you know, whatever. Talk with Poppy, shall we? Here is Poppy. I can't tell if that's in Hogwarts or if that's outside of Hogwarts. I feel like that's outside of Hogwarts. Got the Summoner's Court finished. Herbal Voodoo. Where do you check your total percentage completion, by the way? Yeah, earlier you said you were... Guide. I'm most pleased to earlier be... you said you were up on 45% challenges. I'm at 45% on my overall progress for challenges. Officer's hat. Got a bunch of these things I haven't uh, collected. Legendary mask. Lucky leprechaun hat. Pop ten sets of balloons. Wildfire broom. Quidditch captain's helmet. <clears throat> Zonko's chief prankster row coat. Ancient magic. Like she's right down there. She's outside the castle. She's not. She's not inside the castle, but she's near the castle. Near enough that I should fly to her from here. Hmm. 
Revelio. Oh, good, you're safe. What's up, Papa? There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Mm. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as... Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. She'll let me know as soon as she has a plan. I feel like this has been my, my whole day. I'll let you know, I'll let you know, I'll let you know, I'll let you know. Learn Bombarda from Pref Professor Howen. Mm. Let's go learn Bombarda. Bombarda is a Bombarda. Mm. Oh. Why all the way out here? That's a long way. What are you up to now? Hey, some whizbees. Incendio. I don't know why that's got a lock on it. Is this is am I not capable of this quest or something? No, I have to do this one first before I can do this one. Okay. I don't know how to do this one. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I don't know where them freaking monsters are. Acquire a deer crawl with the knapsack. Acquire a giant purple toad with the knapsack. I know, my solo self found sorceress got completely left in the dust, didn't she? I'll probably start her back up in a couple days here. Um, toward the beginning of ladder. I feel like that's a good way to start ladder. That way we can start talking about Diablo again. Get into the swing of things. I'm not sure how many more episodes it'll take me to finish that solo cell phone run of hers. Thestral Den. Hippogriff Den. Giant Purple Toad Den. Okay, there's a giant purple toad right there. Alright, well this isn't as hard as I thought it would be then. 
Just gonna go catch ourselves a giant purple toad. We're gonna catch a giant purple toad, yeah. Oh, gotta catch a giant purple toad. Alright, let's throw the bag here, and then let's throw a Leviosa spell there. That way I can very easily Leviosa them. There's one right there. Everything's all right now. All right, two giant purple toads. Damn, biscuit. That was strange. So I was supposed to go in that one. Okay. Incendio. Barfed out by frogs is disgusting. One of these. Oh, okay. Here we go. Then I was able to see it from here. Yeah, there it is. Shame I didn't have an audience for that one. Frogs. So many frogs. Alright, we need to find on the map the other one that we need, so... We got the frog, now we need the Diracol. Acquire a Diracol. Let's check the map and see if we can find a, a Diracol. Um, Nifflers. Puff Skeen. Moon Calf. Unicorn Den. Mm. Bestrals. A giant Purple Toad Den. Moon calf. A giant purple toads. Giant purple toads everywhere. Off skin. Off skin. 
starting to forget what the hell I'm even looking for. Whoopers. Mm, I need some whoopers for stuff. Diffler. Man, it's like tons of little freaking uh, jobbernal. Not what I need. Nasal. A measle. Measle. What does a measle? Mooncap. Hippogriff. Neasel. Deer crawl. There we go. <laughs> Finally. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. We I have unused talent points. Ooh. Yeah, oh, five unused talent points. Nice. Oh, wow. Enemy struck with the transformation spell will transform into explosive objects. That seems really powerful. I like that. That sounds good. Successfully evading an unblockable attack with dodge contributes to the ancient magic meter. Wigan Weld has an even greater effect. Let's do the Wigan Weld upgrade. Mm, Eterus Potion makes you invulnerable and deflects projectiles attacked back to enemies. Visibility Potion's undetectable effect lasts for a longer period of time. Mm, for each Chinese cabbage thrown. Let's try this stupefy one. That one's actually pretty nice. And this one, too, looks pretty nice. The Defendo Mastery. Here we go. All juiced. All juiced up and ready to go. Let's go grab our things so we can learn Bombarda. Bombarda. I don't know what that spell does, but it sounds fun. Sounds like it goes a big da da boom. Sounds like it's a big da ba da boom da boom. You've made a mistake. Da da boom. It's a big boom. It's a big bad boom. It's a big big boom boom boom. It's a big big boom. It's a big big boom boom boom. It's a big big boom. Let me also. Hey, we got one. Assignment's all finished. Alright, got two deer crawls. Hey, babe. I should investigate. All right. Now we should be able to learn the Bombarda spell from what's his face. The Bombarda. Bombardo. 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 Bumby li li la 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 li la 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 Bombard Oh 
Oh, attend the beast class. Okay. Where do you go? We're going to class. It's actually kind of disappointing. It was the one, it's the one thing that I think was probably the most disappointing about this game so far. Is that the classes didn't continue. So, like, in the beginning, when you go to the classes, it's very obvious that you're going to the classes. And then, at a certain point, the classes just do this. It's like, some people gather around, like, there's no audio. Like, and then, like, the teacher, like, pretends to do something. And then, um, the class just dismisses. Like, there's no, there's no actual class anymore. Um, the classes were probably the most fun part. And now it's just like, they just do that. Excellent and that's like the whole today. class. Class dismissed. dismissed. Like, she doesn't talk anymore. They just kind of like... You're ready to learn your new spell. At a certain point, they just they just kind of like phone it in with the classes. Which was which is really sad because the classes were a very fun part of the story. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. Hmm. Of course, Professor. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember. The exploding charm is highly volatile. Exploding charm, bombarda. Mm. New well spell done. unlocked. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the. Where's the training dummy? Mm. Bombarda. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Textbook execution. Brave. All right, let's see if we can do the next part of this quest before I run out of time. I've got about 30 minutes left. In the shadow of the mountain, which is apparently the next part of Sebastian's quest. I'm actually kind of worried about Sebastian. I think he's going to end up getting himself killed. I don't really know what to say other than that. I'm pretty sure he's going to end up getting himself killed. Either that or he's going to get somebody else killed. He may, he may actually cure Anne. Which I think is admirable. Um, but he's probably going to have to sacrifice his life to do it. Either that or he's going to try and sacrifice mine. I have a bad feeling that um, even though his intentions are good, he may end up deciding to... Uh, what's the term? Go the evil route. I don't like the way that the quest line has already gone. It's obvious that Sebastian is is partial to dark magic. He casts it a lot. He seems to know all the curses already. And uh, and on top of that, he doesn't seem to have any care in the world about casting them. Um, in fact, when people confront him about casting those curses, he definitely gets upset, like, like they shouldn't be upset. Um, and then his reaction when I tried to... Um, like include the friendly goblin was very like over the top you know like how dare you like you should never include goblins and goblins are evil and all goblins are evil goblins were the ones that cursed Han and, and flames and butthole wieners don't even know it's all terrible If 
Incendium. I don't I don't like this quest because I can see that it's going badly. And every single time I make a choice, even if it's for the for the good of what's trying to be done, it seems like it just keeps getting worse. And it just keeps Nothing getting pleasant worse about this and coast. worse and worse. And I didn't I like your owl. I didn't like ominous Thank at you. first. I'm glad you came. But now I'm starting to like ominous more and more. Loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. It doesn't work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh, either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. Perhaps I should do this on my own. I do care about Anne, but I'm tired of explaining myself. Perhaps we should part ways. That's... that's not what I meant. I... We're just not getting answers. I need answers. For Anne. I know. Now, shall we see why the triptych led us here? Let's go, quickly, before we're spotted. Mm -hmm. Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables. But it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Mm -hmm. for these things. Drill just dig it into the wall. The goblins have certainly put together some interesting machines, Something I'll tell you what. Bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. Alright. I'm making small talk. I'm not gonna trek up this mountain in silence. Travel up the switchbacks. That was definitely some sort of barrier. I bet the festival nests are close by. Incendio. I'm sorry we can both see Thestrals. It's certainly not something I'd hoped we'd have in common. Kill any who trespass! Wait! We should have some sort of plan. I'm Bombarda! Incendium! You pity! Right. Bombarda! Accio! 
what they deserved what were you thinking i was thinking about dead goblins you could have got us killed but i didn't looks mm. like branrock's loyalists rebellion let's keep going Tons of little chests and everything all over the place. Like, he uses like little clickables and like a little gold, all our little gold piles. Like a little box of high back here, and a whole bunch of little gold piles. Revelio. They love hiding crap all over the place. I'll tell you what. Ramrock's gonna make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that, Goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership. Who's there? One less shoe to whack you. Leviosa, incendio. <laughs> Ridiculous notions of ownership. Yeah, the goblin ownership rules are a little crazy. It's like whoever made it owns it. Doesn't matter like anything else, which is just really weird. So like if I'm a goblin and I and I take a job to create an item and I'm paid to create this item for a person. And the item that I create is duly paid for by said person who obviously contracted me to create it. According to the goblin rule, because I was the one that created it, it's mine. No one else's. So no one else technically owns the item except for me. Even though he paid me to create it for him. Dear resident, your chicken coop inspection will occur in two weeks' time in accordance with the ministry investigation into rumors of the illegal breeding of basilisks. Please ensure that your premises are towed free and be reminded that the punishment for such illegal breeding endeavors is lifelong detention in Azkaban. Please contact the Department of Regulation and Control of Magical Beasts Ministry of Magic with any questions. Lumos. I mean, and let's assume that I create an object because someone ordered me, you know, ordered it, right? So they paid me to create this object. I give them, I give them said object, right? Because they paid me to create it. And then apparently, like, even if I am okay with it as the creator to let this person have the object, let's say the person dies. According to the goblin law, <laughs> when the person dies, the object doesn't get handed down between, you know, like the family of the people that I sold it to. It has to come back to me. So ownership of the item immediately reverts back to me as the creator of the item, not to the next person who, in the, you know, in the family or whatever, who you would think owns the item at that point. Incendium. 
will make you pay. I want to try something. I won't rest. Bombarder. Incendio. Accio. This must be it. Sebastian, wait. Wait? For what? Uh, why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gok said... Oh, your goblin friend? Stop it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing. To find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. Yeah. Rebellion. Your butthole needs to find it. Oh, the conversations with Sebastian are just getting are just getting worse and worse. Travels, my young they're, just, they're not getting better. They're just getting worse. He's just getting more and more angry. He's just getting less and less receptive to anything that's going on. Like he's just he's not. It's not, it's not going good. It's not going good. It's it's going bad. So far, so good. Charming. Spiders. How fitting. Bombarder. Accio. Incendio. That frickin' transmogrifying the enemy into a frickin' exploding barrel is great. I love it. Dang spider fangs. I still haven't even used any of the spider fangs. I wonder what the hell I can brew with them. Been lazy with the brewing of the potions and whatnot. These spiders are determined to make a meal of us. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin dinner. Bombarder. Incendio. 
annoying little beasts, aren't they? Spiders. A staircase leading here. Whatever for? I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Incendio! Bombarder! Look at this place. Not really my style. A bit much, if you ask me. Incendio! Rebellion! Is finding these chests luck or insane? Uh oh, we're getting well potions. Bombarda! Defindo! Springo! Fight us! So many spiders in my whole life. Getting through the cavern can't have been the only challenge. Perhaps we should search for runes. Oh no, running out of time. Symbols like these before. Incendio. Can't get out of here quick enough. Apparently, I'm full on gear. Let's throw away some equipment real quick. Anything that's not purple or uh, or orange isn't really worth my time anyway. Potions. I'm assuming a boss. Yep, here comes a troll. A troll. Stupid 
God dang, them frickin' spiders were aggressive. I didn't even have a chance. Evil, aggressive spiders. Let's try that again. Bombarda. 